2023. Let's go in and let's see what all the amazing things. The showroom is officially open and let's go check it out. So I just walked through the doors and this is your first glance of what Creativation looks like 2023. Let's go off. We're going to start on the right hand corner and we're going to do a full walkthrough from right to left or right. And we're going to go aisle to aisle to aisle and check out all the amazing companies. I'm going to do my best. We got a good long time. As long as my battery holds out, I'm going to be here for probably two to three hours. So, but the whole point is to see everything on the showroom floor. So that way, in case you are not able to be here, you can check out and see what the show is all about. So our first company we are coming to see from the very beginning, this is Artoya. Oh, I saw these guys last year. They are so good morning, good morning, good morning. Hello, everybody. So Artoya, they have the coolest little gadgets. So these are all wood pieces that you can put together. This one, I don't know, some of them, like this one rolls. See how it rolls? It's so cool. So they put you, you get them as like little pieces like this and then you assemble it so it's a wooden puzzle and they are just the coolest thing in the world. I love these things and they have a lot of different designs and their sculptures. I don't know, it's, it's just a really cool thing. And I remember seeing them last year and I thought they were just the bomb. All right, so that is, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna do my best, make sure I shout out every company's name, but this is Art Toya, so like Art Toy. <laughs> all right, so here we have Umark 20. What are you guys all about? We're live on Instagram, or sorry, YouTube. Is that cool, the video, and talk about you guys? All right, we'll give yourselves a little speech. What are you guys all about? So we are Umark. We're based out of Belleville, Illinois. Um, we have some pre premium metallics that we're showcasing, and then a neon light, which will glow in the black light. Ah. Ah. We're showcasing here. All right, cool. So are these some of the markers? They are. Yep. Okay. Nice. So, it's hard to hold the camera and doodle at the same yeah. time. So we have the silver, copper, and then a gold as well. Yeah, yeah. We know about it. Very we pretty. Paint too. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. And so you're having people drawing on this and having fun? Yeah. Very cool. Awesome. All right, you guys just shouted out that you saw somebody. So let me let me swing back around. You put them together. But I think this is who you guys are talking about and who you're wanting to see. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back in a second because she's busy with this interaction over here. So I know you guys want to get a shout out with me. So, yes, she is here. But she's busy, so I don't want to. I, I don't like impeding on when people are chatting and talking and doing something. So here we have M Creative. What is this all about? Oh, embroidery kits. Oh, look how This pretty. is a stitch. So you stitch it directly on there. All right, so just shout out yourself. Got another amazing person right here. <laughs> Say your name. I'm Amanda, Hair Blossom Press. <laughs> I love how she just glossed over who she was. You gotta call yourself out, oh, girl, come on. <laughs> I'm enjoying the show, but isn't that cool? Look at uh, it. Beautiful. So here's, and these are cool too. Can I pick it up? Yeah, let's do it. Look at those gorgeous ones. And they're already, look. Oh, and they're already, so you just, Peel stick embroidery patch patterns. Everybody saying hi, Amanda. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, they're like water soluble stickers. So That's so cool. Back, stitch over it, and then when you're done stitching these, wash away with warm water. Oh, fun. That's awesome. It makes oh, like the, the whole process easy. easy. It does. Uh, much easier for transferring. Oh, your stuff. look at that. Look at that. That is just too cool. And then you've got some that are like earring shapes and. Yeah, there's some fun wearable options. Very cool. Very cool. All right. She's still busy. She's still into into her meeting over there, so I'll let her be. Okay. Chibitronics, so they have their own booth today. What? Oh, you're fine. You're fine. It's fine. So let's see what's going on. Let's get in here. Sorry for totally ditching you with dinner last night. Um, <laughs> oh, it is. Okay. It just, I mean, that was quite an adventure. So like, we were out trying to go to dinner last night, and it didn't quite work. <laughs> it was really fun, though, to see everyone. It, it was. was an adventure. We learned a lot about the local neighborhood. Yes. <laughs> we, it was like, it's, it's a total college town around here, so oh, okay. it's just crazy. Anyway, give yourself a shout out so we can see who and what you are, because I've just announced, like, we try to have dinner, and they're like, but who is she? So say who you are and what you're all about. Uh, I'm she. I'm the founder of Chibitronics, and we make light up uh, art supplies. So stickers that are actually LED lights and tapes that you can use to add lights to your paper crafts. 
So um, these are some examples of our lights. And here is a cute example of a card made using them. When you push, it turns on the lights and you can just take a look inside like this. These, you just want to have a battery and your LED stickers and then it, it turns on when you just press. So that's kind of how this works. We have something new that I would love Ooh, to show you. Yes, too. let's go with new and fun. I love new and fun. We are working on a whole new line of stickers oh, yeah. that actually change and animate. So this one's blinking, you can see. This one is slowly fading in and out, like gently breathing. This one's too, except this one's white, this one's red, and this one is really cool. It actually slowly is changing color. So you oh, see it's fading yeah. through the rainbow. Yeah. So that's that's what we're making today. And then our make and take is this cool butterfly pin that changes color. Let me just go over her shoulder here. Okay. So now you're going to take your pin and it's on <laughs> Okay. So I'll swing back around. I don't want to get in everybody's way. Yeah, I, can join us and make I will definitely come back and make yeah. one later on. I'm just oh, in video cool. mode right now. But thank you so much for the tour. May I have a sticker? I got a, I got a sticker. <laughs> thank you. All right. So you're still talking. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Is she moving? Is she moving? All right, so I'm filming live and everybody in their gourd just went nuts because they saw you on film. Oh, <laughs> hi everyone. Oh, you're live right now? I'm live YouTube? right now, yep. Who's there? Tell me somebody's oh, name. Oh, they're scrolling so fast, I'm not watching you. Well, awesome. Hey, guys. Shout out yourself. I will call out who's there who wants to say hi to Mei Mei. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, here we go. They all just showed up. Oh, okay. can I see? Let me see. Yeah, here. They're saying, uh... Hi, guys. Hi, Amy. Mama hi, Disney. Mama Disney. Oh, that's our uh, people. You want to see? Oh, we're trying. We're this way. Come here. Yeah. We're all Hi, here. everyone. I like. I don't know how to do YouTube. You know. <laughs> Sometimes we just have this moment of. Oh. Yes. <laughs> you guys, wait. Do you see what we're learning here, right? Oh my gosh, such good stuff. We're so excited. You're only like three boots in, and I'm like, this You're is Aaron. amazing. Erin Reed makes. Shannon said she thinks that she watched your videos when we were getting ready for creativation from last year. Uh, probably. Very informative. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so well, much. Well, now you're on this year's video. Well, cool. Thank you. It's very nice to meet you, too. You, too. We'll see you. Again. I'm around. <laughs> there we go. You never know who you're going to run into. <laughs> All right, let's keep on going. What do we got? Oh, I got to flip my camera. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. All right. Here we have. Oh, just laugh at me. That's all good. That's good. All right. Ningbo. Do you mind if I film? Is that okay to film? Yes, okay. So what do you have? You have sewing notions, kit crochet, yeah, yeah. storage boxes. Yeah. Very cool. Can I get up close and show some people yeah, what's yeah, going yeah. on? Sure, sure. Thank you. So these are like snap fasteners for sewing. Look at all the, I love all the pretty colors. It's like, and then we've got like rotary cutters. We've got lots of scissors. Yeah, sometimes I'm paying attention to what booth is next. So shout out if you see somebody and you want me to go say hi. I will do my best to go over and say hi. I am not shy. So. Got to say hi to Mei Mei. Thank you so much. I love all of it. So wonderful. All right, and then over here we have, I can't see the name of the store, uh, Sport Culture. So all things to do with sports. We're live on YouTube. Is it okay if I come in? Do you want to do a little shout out about what you're all about? Uh, what we're about is crafts and everything sport licensed from the NFL to all the leagues. And we just give a different twist on things. We have the exclusive license on this. So now we're just trying to develop it. Oh, I love that you guys have like, so you got painting kits. Yes. So we got painting kits. We've got these like assembly so pieces. Like type. Ah, and then. Sand art. Oh, this is the sand art thing, the Texans. Yeah. All right. String art. I love the string art. Oh, yeah. and look at the bejeweled this, stuff. This is the diamond dots. We work uh, with them. Oh, fantastic. And they get to, we give them a helmet and then they get the dots and they get the dot the helmet. And, or you can do it in the kit like that. Oh, I love it. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Thank They're so fun. Time. Oh, and if anybody wanted to get any of these, where could they find them? As a consumer, just out? As a consumer, they're on um, NFL Shop. NFL Shop. Okay. And uh, Fanatics. Got it. Thank All right. You. Thank you. Have a great day. All right. So I'm going to give you guys a little skinny about Jen Cherkis. So Jen Cherkis from Lawn Fawn was here, and I did bump into her a few times, and I did get some, like, some pictures. If you guys have been watching any of my short reels of the day on Instagram or my stories on Instagram, you saw that we had a couple of pictures together. She was here for an event that started just a couple of days ago, which is the Collins event, but she is leaving. She left last night, so she is no longer here. She was not here for the showroom floor. So sorry. 
Um, because Lon Vaughn is not on the showroom floor. She just came herself because she's had a couple of classes with a, a co-combined event that was just before this. It's called the Collins Group and it's all about retail sales and stuff. So unfortunately she is not here, but I did see her and I got some pictures and she is in my reel from day one. Um, so you can see her, her amazing smiley face and a nice little chat about her going on vacation and she's awesome. Okay, so let's go back to giving you the, the skinny on people that I've seen so far. All right, so here we have, oh, come see, we have all different kinds, AWT, World Trade Group. Do you mind if I film? No. Awesome. So what are you guys all about? So I see like storage racks, which are right. Now we manufacture storage racks, hundreds of sizes. Awesome. Uh, we all need storage. <laughs> no, they do. Yeah, absolutely. They all, otherwise, it's all over the floor. You know? <laughs> you know? And so I'm seeing a whole bunch of ones back here on the back. So yeah, different Yeah, that's ranges. just a small sampling of what there is. Cool. Uh, also manufacturing screen printing equipment for the artists. Nice. And for, you know, schools, entry level schools. Very cool. Graphic schools. Very fun. Well, thank you so it. much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, here we have Mako. Oh, look at these dewdrop things. So these are all um, porcelain. So stoneware, different kinds of paints that you can put on and then you fire it. So again, everything, these are all glazes. That's the word I was looking for. So cool to film i see this camera sign over here cool to film wow. it's so pretty so these are all of your different paints and well, we glazes see, we came here with a limited representation so stroke color is our number one product line stonework glaze is the second most popular um, we haven't been in amped in 10 years but, uh, well our, our business is exploding i started from the pottery really took off to a wide year 30 percent now this guy is talking he's a small dealer so in the 10 years that I've been here, I'm trying to see, well, have these guys been hit more for pressure? And they are. So, so early on, uh, I don't know how we, we approach the program, because we don't sell through um, individual, we sell through distributors. Right, if right. If I get a distributor, it's not going to be worth a while. Oh, well, hopefully you can get one. Well, I've talked to McPherson's out on the way over, and then SLS, <laughs> and he was actually fucking SLS. But, uh, but yeah, no, I, 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 know, I know they're hearing it. I know that people are... Uh, the, the, uh, the lack of retail presence for ceramics. Yeah, it's a thing. It's but definitely this is a all thing. fun. I love so the two it. most important things on our website are the combination. So the Cone Six people, like those teardrops over there, you just take two glazes, you combine them, and then they do their own thing. These, of course, are more structured. Design. Right, right. But you know, this, these, these are all along the paper cutouts and doilies. Uh, we have a line of silk screens, oh. and so you, you, we make we make the silk screen. You put the black outline on, and then you go back and color. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm Aaron Reed. Nice okay. to meet you. <laughs> sorry, my hand's funny from holding this. Yeah, that's all, right. <laughs> all right, over here we have Pebio. So amazing Pebio products, whole lines of paints. I mean, all different kinds of mixed media paints. They have a world of color. Just take a look at this. This is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Oh, you can get in there. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> She's busy chatting. So beautiful colors. I mean, they have all kinds of beautiful, beautiful things. Can we see the laser cut wood at the end? Um, I'll get back to that question. Hi. Hello. What are you guys Good playing to with today? Good. How are you? <laughs> so what are we playing with today? So we are playing with um, the liquid watercolors called Colorex mm. by Pebio. And they are very concentrated dye-based watercolors. You can see here I put them directly on the watercolor paper. And uh, so they're nice and dark. Let me actually pull it out with a brush for you, like that. So you can see the nice bright colors. But normally when I use them, I'll either spray them so they're fully rewettable on watercolor paper. All right. And also, you, you might be able to see there, we have a um, what's called a drawing gum marker, which is actually uh, your frisket or your uh, masking fluid in a pen. Nice. And it has this beautiful tip on it so that you can do uh, detail work with it. And it also comes um, in a smaller bottle and my personal one, which is a larger bottle here. And you're going to want to use a little eraser, like an adhesive eraser, right. in order to pick it up. So this is wet. I'm not going to pick it up because it is wet, but I started making some basic designs. But if you come over here to the elephant... I saw that amazing. Yeah. So you used a pen for that, so, or did you use a paintbrush okay, for the first I'm, I'm going to show you a secret. Oh, okay, okay. All right, so this is exclusive for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I buy these brisket pens. So it acts just like a pen, 
and when you take this off, you've got the needle point in there. Oh, and nice. It comes in two different sizes. So it doesn't get all gummed up. Right. So this from your art supply store, but I like to use this to get a more organic line, mm -hmm. and that's what I used in my elephant to get the organic lines. Oh, because you, you can see the lines are a little thicker. They're not the thin lines from the marker. If you want to do detail work or repair something, you can go in with this marker and you know pretty up your lines. Right. Right. Now, also, if you put your line somewhere, sometimes these blop out. Just let it dry for a few seconds. Right. And then you just roll it right off and redo it. Oh. Super easy to use. And so then, it's very user friendly in terms of fixing it. If you just, before you go and watercolor over it, exactly. just make sure you kind exactly. of like fix it beforehand. Yeah. And then in addition, we have now have the markers. Oh, lovely. And the cool thing about these markers is that they are refillable. <gasps> so just you can use the big ones and using this dropper. It, and the, the instructions are right here, but it goes in until it sort of clips in. And then there's a wick inside here. Let me show you an empty one. So there's a white barrel on the inside. That's actually a wick. Oh, cool. So you can get up to five of these uh, droppers inside in there. there. And then this will wick it away. Um, that's what I was doing here. I started right. filling this one. And of course, I'm gonna fill one and make my own purple. Because you can that mix all the colors and make exactly. your own custom color. Exactly. And the empties. So the empties come in sets of six. So you get them. You also get them full, and then you get them empty as well. Correct. Got it. Got it. Right. Very right. cool. Right. Yep. Well, and fantastic. They have some. They have some nice sets that you can get too. I always like sets. Yes, sets because are nice. Because with the sets, you're able to experiment. You know, dip your toe in the water, get to know them. Now, some people have asked about the tips. So actually, where's the green one? Is my favorite. There's a green there. This one. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's out here. So my my favorite colors in these are the green and the sepia. Mm -hmm. There's just something about this. Uh, there are a couple of different greens. This is the. I'm a big green. fan of green. Oh well, there you go. And blue. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so with the forest green, you can see here what I've been doing is um, some Chinese calligraphy. But any kind of calligraphy, of course, you can do with the um, with the brush. So I'm gonna do the character. Let's see if I can do it upside down. <laughs> the character for heart is like this, but you can see that it acts just like a brush. Yes, it's okay. awesome. Yep, and then of course that's watercolor. So if I just take a little bit of water, I can come in here and soften the edges. Oh, beautiful. It's turning colors because I had colors on. Here. Yeah, but it makes it even better. Yeah. I right. love that. It has like this really cool. That's actually really yeah. pretty. <laughs> I like the softening of the edges. Right. And this is water. Don't look at it, like it's pulling and just kind of. Oh, I love that. <laughs> so pretty. Yep. 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 So. Tell me about the very stuff. fun. Um, um, let me see. I was doing a Sakura last night. I was playing around with a Zen garden. So, you know, the, the markers are great for play. Right. Even if you don't have water around or brush, you know, handy. You can still get your watercolor fix with the markers. <laughs> hey, that's fabulous. And then go back later because it's still re-wettable mm -hmm. even after it's dry. You know, acrylic, which Pimeo has acrylic fluid as well, um, those of course are not re-wettable after they're dry, but this was from last night and I should be able to come in and just re-wet that. Oh, wow. So see how I can pull that back out. Right, right. That's fabulous. <laughs> love that. And then the other thing that Pebio is introducing at the show is our leather paints. Ooh. So these are, um, what are the, uh, acrylic based leather paints. What you do before you start on the leather is you use a leather uh, preparer. Mm -hmm. So that's what I was, um, I have some leather pieces here. I was wiping those down and then um, these are intermixable, so if I wanted to mix my own colors, I could mix my colors together. Just think of them as like an acrylic paint. Okay. All right? But once this is prepared, then it'll stick to the leather. Yes. And if you come around, oh, there are also not only pots, but there are also markers for this to oh, nice. so make it easier. These markers are a little different because you see how it's super fine point, right? Okay. Um, we're getting the leather detail. Okay, interesting. She, she's all curious now too. Look at her. She's like, <laughs> <laughs>
But if you want to come around to the display, you'll sure. see like, yeah, exactly places. Gloves, <laughs> some tennis shoes, gorgeous. Oh, look at all these. Look at that. That is fabulous. So pretty. Oh, look at all that. So, so many fun things from Pebio. Now she's going to do her spiel again and go through it all again. So, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Tell her thank you because I know she's busy again. <laughs> She's all good. Just tell her thank you for me. <laughs> all right. So now we have yarns. Oh, look at all these beautiful yarns. This is Zheng Yang Loyal Yarns. She's a brand new exhibitor. Beautiful, beautiful yarns. So the one thing about Creativation is you're going to get a little bit of everything. Look at all these gorgeous, gorgeous layers of yarns. So pretty. And I love the colors. She's busy talking, so I don't want to get in the way. But you can see all the beautiful yarns. Here it is stitched or, sorry, sewn together crocheted, knitted, knitted, whatever, knit, that's the word, <laughs> knit. <laughs> I know there's words that are just not coming out of my mouth. <laughs> Hello, we're live on YouTube, is it okay to film? Awesome, so what are you guys all about? So we have Split On over here, we have Cheval Plays over here, we're the same company pretty much. Okay. Um, if you look over here, one down here. We have a bunch of different materials here for mold making and casting. Oh, beautiful. So these are some of our silicone rubbers. We have these awesome Maker Pro paints. We have fluorescent. We have standard colors, and we just keep going with all that. We have awesome glow powders here. Oh, Take beautiful. a look. Check this out. So if I just, we're here for like seconds, right? We're right. just barely any seconds. And there's they're glowing. Oh, look at really that. Brightly. That's so fun. That was just like two seconds. That is. Yeah, exactly. So in a black light, permanent black light, like over here, would yeah. it glow even more? They're just always on. They're just always yeah, they're on. they're just always on. That's yeah. fun. So like oh, everybody's these, saying they love your yeah. glasses. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I like your hair, too. Thank yes. you. <laughs> so these right here, you can kind of see like, oh, look, there's paints. They're really nice. But now they've yeah. got that fluorescent oh, UV glow. So that's really awesome. They just come to life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's so fun. So we sell mold making and casting materials as well as things like these paints, accessories like powders for effects and things like that. Oh, I love this. Yep. I've seen somebody make a version of this. is so popular. It is. Yeah. Oh. Where are you from? What do you want? I with? live, um, I'm a content creator nice. of all different kinds. Yeah. Video content mostly is my jam. Yeah. And I live in Texas, in Austin. Ah. My sister's in Austin. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let me let you talk to Jeanette. Let's go over here yeah. and see what this is all about. Let me go this way. Yeah. Our Shabbat clay, so our newest Shabbat clay is our alien clay. Actually, it comes in this uh, <laughs> saucer that can actually be heated up. Oh. So you can bring it to a liquid and pour it into a silicone mold. Nice. And what's wonderful about it, too, is it's sulfur free and really friendly for silicone mold making. So if you sculpt it and make something with it, it's very easy to make a mold and then be able to make reproductions from it. But they come in these fantastic hand wedges. Um, you can feel we have a soft, a medium, and a hard, so it increases in hardness, but um, it doesn't stick to your hands or tools. It's very easy to use. So this is Chavant clay, and we were just over there. So, yeah, we're that's Chavant. The smooth on, yeah, this right? Smooth -on. And so this smooth -on, is smooth on the clay. Company, yeah. Okay. Right? And Two then, different companies, but together in the booth. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, we're divisions together. of we're the company. Together, yeah. yeah. So um, the smooth on has People a, asking. acquired Chavant. <laughs> And so they're all made in the same place. Oh, got it, got it, got and it. And we have a few different um, plays as well that are so different okay. plays. Some of them come in the blocks like this, and then some of them come in the bar. Wow. And they have different hand feels, um, different hardnesses, different colorations, depending what you're looking to sculpt with and work with. Very cool. I love that. Well, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. Oh, you're oh, very you welcome. I do have a card. Nice. I have a whole back pocket full of cards. Either, by the way. This is me. Thank you. Thank really you. nice to talk to you. <laughs> All right, so let's go on. Here we have Dynasty. Oh, I love Dynasty Pet. I love their brushes. This is my go-to brush, anything to do with Dynasty. We are, they're busy talking, but just look at all the beautiful brushes. These are their Sable, New York Sable brushes. These are for oils and acrylics. Here we have the extended palette. Look at the beautiful, their brushes are second to none. I absolutely love, if you guys have ever seen any of my videos when I'm doing ink blending or anything like that, or if I'm doing some stenciling, this is my go-to stencil brush. They are fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Looks like they have a few other fun ones out here, these blue ice ones. They are phenomenal brushes. So this is Dynasty brush. If you want a quality brush, you gotta get a Dynasty brush. That's the bottom line. <laughs> I love it, I love them. So here is all their faux sable brushes here. These guys are awesome. I have a whole slew of your brushes. I love using them and I tag on everything. <laughs> so here is some more of the awesome brushes. Let's take a look at these. The gorgeous, gorgeous brushes. So somebody was asking a question if I could go back to a booth. 
Um, I know it says please ask, but I know them. I work with yeah, them, so yeah, I think we're please. okay. I will definitely still ask. Okay. But oh. I am not going to go back to a previous booth because there's a lot of booths here and we are live. And this video will last as a replay as soon as we are done doing the live and I click off. The video will be available for replay, which means as soon as we're done, instead of me going back to a booth that you're requesting, just watch the replay and you can go exactly where you want to for that particular booth. On a side note, on a different note, or in addition to, let's put it that way, if you become a silver or a glitter member of my YouTube channel, I always get fun little swag from a lot of these companies. I've already gotten a ton from going to classes and getting from going to make and takes. I'm going to be doing them over the next few days. And a lot of that stuff I'm going to be passing on to, to you guys, my YouTube subscriber my members, members, my members, whatever that is. So make sure you become a member and subscribe. I would love to have it. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also give me a thumbs up for walking around. I would love to have it. And let's continue and see what other amazing people are here and the vendors and products. Cannot wait. Hello. Hello. Is there anything new and fun you want to mention? Because we are live on YouTube. Water Lily. Oh, let's talk about water. I showed them. But do you have anything you want to say about it real fast? Okay, Water Lily is like a, the best brush. It's super absorbent. If your basic brush is, say, 75, but if, if it holds like 20% of fluid, the Water Lily, where is oh, it? I'm sorry, it's, it's over there. Sorry. Okay. I'm Water like, I thought I remember seeing it, but where is it? It'll hold 70%, and it's got a slow release. So the release is based on your press. So if you can press it really hard and you can move it down, you're going to release a lot of product. If not, let me just break it out a little bit, all right? I still got gumming in it. Let's go mm. this way. All right. And I'm not a painter. So let it's me okay. be very clear on Yes, you are. <laughs> Everybody is. <laughs> so you can pull it up and you can go around. Then you put a lot of water in there. And look at where I'm going with this. Oh, beautiful. Just look at the release. I'm not pressing hard. Now I'm going real soft. And look at the release on this. And you've still got some medium in there. I just did a little bit, and it's still got its its um, sizing in there. I haven't cleaned it out. I just broke it out. Right. So you're really going to get a great expanse on this, and it gives you terrific, terrific coverage. I think I'm more in awe about the water on this palette here because it's just so cool. I feel like I could doodle, and then it dries, and then yeah, I could yeah, doodle yeah, again, yeah. and then it this dries. This magic paper is like a gift from heaven, it's isn't it? Best. It's like so great, but look at this. It just oh, keeps going. Oh, There's so much It just there. keeps going. So I would suggest trying this out. This and so great. what, besides watercolor, can you use this brush Inks. for anything? Yeah. yeah, acrylics, watered down acrylics. Okay. Um, it's not going to push a heavy body because it's really, really a soft synthetic. Right. But it's going to push everything else. And obviously it comes in a wide variety of different... Yes, there are 55 SKUs in it. So we've got a that. ton of different sizes. Let me see. This is a really fun one. This one here is called a cat's tongue. Oh, shoot. <laughs> they put this special thing on there to keep the... Yeah, so the when you break it out, it gives you this nice, lovely, am I on? Gives you this nice, lovely point there. Oh, beautiful. So look at that. I mean, it's just a wonderful chisel on here, and it's they're all handmade. Right. So it's just a great brush. So, I mean, I would say try this one out. And is this a wood or is this a... This is wood. This yeah. Is wood. Now it's... give a shout out to all of how sustainable you guys are and everything okay, about that. So, so our handles come, our handle supplier belongs to a reforestation program. Our wood is FFC certified. That's Forest Stewardship Council. So for every tree taken, there's another tree planted. So it's constant regrowth in the forest. So we're not really taking anything that's going to destroy the planet. What we're in here for is for the long haul. Yes. So I love that's that. our handles do. This is partly why I love this company, because they're just so amazing. <laughs> and that's why we don't use plastic. Yes. Plants, plastic will take 10,000 years oh. in landfill, and wood is too much. I just love if that. it's even that long. Well, but but it's so. going back to nature, even if it does go right. into a landfill of any and kind. And it does then, in fact, feed what needs to be fed. Right. So, so. well, thank you so much. Thank you know you I love you. Great Great big you. Hug. Oh. <laughs> okay. Sorry, we have to do big hugs. I, I run into all my amazing companies I love to work with, and you know, just over the years we've fostered these relationships, and I have met. Oh, we met back at. In like, New York. Yeah. All those years back yes. in New York. Yes. That was where Bethel I first Woods. met you. Yeah. In Bethel yeah. Woods. So, anyway. Yeah. Lots of, oh, there's right. Julie. There's Julie. Uh, anyway. Thank you again. Bye. I'll swing back around and talk to you later. Thanks. <laughs> all right. So that is Dynasty Brush. Amazing, amazing brush. Okay. Here we have, let me flip over again. So again, we're just going down the aisle and seeing everybody. Hi. We're videoing. Can you tell me about what you got? Uh, we got stretch canvas, pants, 
of pancakes. Very cute. Look at the little kids. I love this. And then what's the name of your company? Una Art. Yeah, Una. This is Una Art. Very cool. Thank you so much. All right, over here we have Art Supply Insiders. Yes. Do, you, do you want to talk a little bit about what you are about? We're live on YouTube. <laughs> well, uh, we should be talking to my, my partner, but he's not here right now. Well, uh, you got to fill we in. We interview manufacturers and uh, as well as artists okay. uh, to talk about uh, what they do and their, their products. So and where they, can somebody find the podcast? Where is it released on? At, at your favorite podcast provider. We're on all of them. Or you can go to Art Supply Insiders. Com. Very cool. So if you want to get a little bit of a skinny on the different companies that are in the, in the, the do the, the, the QR code the, I just gave you, and then here's oh, some sorry, of the companies. This is the one. That's the list. I know. Yeah, I did. That's, that's the list. <laughs> we've, we've been at this a little over a year, and we've, no, I think we've got 58 <laughs> podcasts posted now, so we're releasing about one a week. Oh. Very cool. Well, fantastic. So if you guys want to hear the skinny about what's going on, then this is a place where you can go do it, and here's a little bit about them. But yeah, here's a little list again some of these names I'm sure you know who they are some of the companies and then there is the QR code so you can go listen to the podcast have some of them already been released oh yes yes yeah. okay yeah, so this got, is the ones that have already been released but you already and, have and a, this is this is a partial list a partial list we've got 58 posted right now oh so wow fabulous so about once a year oh, I'm sorry once a month what's a week we uh, have released so we've been cool. a little over a year we've got 58 posted well, thank you so much. Okay, thank you. All right, let's keep on going. All right, so we already saw Dynasty. Here we have, this is a, uh, do, 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 this is a distributor. So this is Iwata Media. Um, let me double check if I can film in here. There's a, two booths that did not want to be filmed. So I'm just going to look to make sure. Oh, that's different. Is it okay to film in here? Okay. You guys want to talk a little bit about what you're about? Anybody? You're, you're busy. Go, go, go do what you need to do. Go and eat, do what you do. They got, do what? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So what do you, we're live on YouTube and people are curious about what is all about this. So do you want to talk? Yeah. So we're with the Let me, water, come around. Water Let me go around because it's a little far away. There we go. Okay, Hi, we're with Iwata Airbrush. We are okay. introducing a few new okay. products this year okay. at NAMTA. The first one is our Katana spray gun for the okay. DIY market. So it's a full HVLP gun okay. at a price point uh, S&P of $169. It comes with all of these accessories. And it's excellent for spraying uh, polyurethanes on fences and uh, doing DIY projects like covering paint chairs and just a great piece to have around the house. It is a um, gives you a smoother finish and faster coverage. Is there any example that I can see what it looks like somewhere? Oh, of the actual? Well, no, just like a finished product or is like one of oh. these pictures on here? Can I see yeah, that? Yeah, it's just, it's going to be like the like where they're painting uh, pieces like for okay. fencing. But like is there like one of these art pieces over here? Is that done with the way the spray guns? Like this or anything on here? No. No, not okay. The, not I was just trying to see if there was something like this is what it looks like yeah. when it's done being spray painted. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, it's all good. Yeah. What else you guys got? So we also have the Boya crayons. The Boya crayons are, are soft fun. wax pastel. They come in this unique shape, both form and function. So the form is ergonomic, but also the function is that each side produces a different effect. It comes in 20 different uh, colors that are fully saturated colors. And 12 sets are available. So these are the by Boya. By Boya. Boya. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Boya. Sorry, I was really yeah. butchering that name. Which is a <laughs> Croatia. Yeah. Yeah. So we have the North American distributor of the Boya crayons out of Croatia. Oh, wonderful. Yes. I love how they look and just like in the box, they look so pretty. I wouldn't want to take them out of the box because I just love yeah. the look of this. Yeah, but they're fun to, they're abs absolutely fun to play with. And okay, I got to play for a minute. Absolutely. So you're holding it like this, therefore you have the tip. You have the tip. And then if you wanted to lay down color, Oh, so you can go, I can't do that with one hand, but I'm not. Yeah. So you do it again. There we go. And each, and they self-sharpen to create oh, new shapes. Fabulous. But you'll always get a flat side and a tip. Very, very, very cool. I love that. So you've got, okay, so we already talked about your airbrush. Yes. And then we got this. Is there anything Boy, else? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Wait, there's more. There's more. <laughs> absolutely. So you want to... 
and our paint line Medea partnered with Createx Paints to create New Worlds. New Worlds is a line of 45 colors of airbrush paint that's more in line for the gaming market, yeah. but is a direct to plastic paint. Oh, look at that. With a durable. That's just a regular old plastic spoon. Regular plastic look spoon. Look at these. Yeah, that regular plastic spoon. Very durable. No yeah. priming needed. You're not flaking that off not at all. Not flaking it off at all. Wow. Yep. That's cool. And so it comes in 45 colors. The opaques, can, the impenetrable opaques can be used as complete base colors. So normally your model will come and it'll be a base like kind of a gray color. Mm -hmm. And typically the process is to prime it, then put down a base color and then our base colors go direct to plastic. They create they, no primer needed, fewer layering, we're simplifying the process, as well as creating this ultra durability. The great thing about fewer layers, both with paint on and airbrush paints in this, is that you get to keep all of the definition of your of your model. Yeah, I mean, just I'm looking at the amount of the scales on this thing. I mean, yes. Look at that. Yeah. Traditional paints, as you layer, you'll lose that definition. Right. So with both airbrush and the paint on. Um, so are these all painted on, like you can use a brush with it? You can use a brush with it, okay. yeah. And it's airbrush ready. So both in it and tested in both of our Neo uh, Fine Point and Wider Flow Eclipse airbrushes. So is that the airbrush that you would be this using? This is a Neo airbrush. Very yep. cool. And so the same paint can go into there. Absolutely. Absolutely. No problem. Yep, straight out can of the I bottle. Can I see it? Can I see it? <laughs> She's getting all ready for me. I'm like, I want to see it. I want to see it. So I'm like a kid in a candy store. Show me, show me, show me. <laughs> I get way too excited when I come to these shows about all the cool stuff. I just want to see everything. So we'll just start. This is kind of going up. We'll start with the fresh guy. I love how you're just putting it on a spoon and it works <laughs> yeah. great. And this is straight out of the bottle. What color did you put in? This is just black. Just black. Okay. Yeah. And then it's kind of glossy there once it dries flatter. Right. Just go back over it. Covers really quickly. And that so, was that's not strictly like straight on the plastic spoon, no prep work, no primer. You didn't no have anything. to do anything fancy to it. Just and pull these it are out and go super, for it. Super super durable. They dry to a matte finish like this. Wow. And you cannot. I just sprayed this like ten minutes ago. You can't scratch it off. <laughs> now you're connected up to a little compressor down here. The tiny one. Yes. This is okay. the PowerJet Pro. You can connect two uh, two air brushes to it, or a small like you know full finish. Is that the smallest compressor? No, we offer much smaller than that. Yeah, do it small. Yeah. Okay, so you yeah, have the, the giant big daddy over here, I see yeah. that. <laughs> That's if you wanted to spray kind of larger stuff and you need right. more capacity. We have this one because we can kind of hook up a couple different ones to it. Um, we what about somebody have, like the, the tiny ones for somebody who would want to do it in home? Oh, absolutely. We have yeah. some that are like the Neo Air or even. Yep. That's a second small. Yep. The Neo do Air have is here or? No, no we, She's didn't, like, bring no, we didn't bring the baby ones. <laughs> no, we didn't. <laughs> so this is the full line of those paint colors? This is the full line of the New World paints. And they come, we have the full line of 45 colors, which are on the risers. And then we have two sets. Uh, one is the Weathered World set, and the other is the Heavy Metal set. Um, those sets together constitute almost our entire line. Weathered World is primarily uh, in the terrain and looking at spraying on uh, terrains. And the, uh, we, uh, the Heavy Metal set is going to be more for armament colors. So the transparent. New Worlds are six pigmented colors, mm -hmm. so you get exceptional unmatched depth of color. Wow. Well, thank you. Everybody was going, ooh, ah, yes. they were loving it. Thank you so much. It's yeah, awesome. Thank you. Do you mind if I snag Absolutely. a Absolutely. I got to snag a, a sticker. <laughs> My daughter's like, just bring me home a sticker. That's all she wanted. I'm like, all right, we I can stickers. bring you a sticker. <laughs> Absolutely. She's, she's got her collection of stickers on her Chromebook, so before she goes to school, she's like, look at the cool stickers I have. Exactly. Easy to please. I love it. Yeah, thank you <laughs> well, so much. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. All right. So let's go back over here. Snagged another sticker. I love stickers. <laughs> All right. So is it okay to film over here? Do you want to sign up right there? You're good to go. Thank you. Well, do you want to talk? Sorry, I'm just messing around with my button here. Do you want to talk a little bit about your brushes and tell us what you're all about? Oh, man, he gets out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to make me do it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, our brand is Trakel. We've been manufacturing brushes since 1984. Uh, we started making them up in the high desert of California. We made them in our warehouse. Uh, unfortunately, we no longer make them in-house as all the head makers retired, but we do make all of our wood products and we have a router shop and a wood shop. Uh, everything we offer currently is professional grade, 
but we are going to start introducing an intermediate line of brushes and panels so we can make sure everybody is able to you know afford our product that's within their price range but um, yeah that's that's what we're doing we offer all these limited edition shapes you know halloween we do like coffee yeah things like that <laughs> uh springtime we have like the dahlia the raindrop uh, we awesome. do a pet portrait competition every year cool. um, yeah so we're just always trying to keep it new and exciting we work with some pretty uh big name artists in the industry we will curate a brush set uh, specifically for them they get to customize it oh beautiful yeah put their name on it pick their colors that they want so yeah. Fabulous. Well, thank you so much. Thank I appreciate you. it. You're welcome. I have love the day. coffin, by the way. That's fantastic. <laughs> hey, come back at the end and if we still have one. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate <laughs> it. <laughs> All right. So here we have, do you mind if I film? You saying please ask. Is that okay? That's fine. Awesome. That's well, fine. thank you. So we're live on YouTube and do you want to do a little pitch to tell people what your products are all about? So, chemical products are made in Canada. Yay! Where I'm from. Uh, <laughs> I'm from Edmonton. So everything's made in Canada. And we've been around for 60 odd years and make all kinds of colors from school for schools and beautiful. Students I love artists. the wall of color. It's just something it's so pretty, pleasing eh? about yeah. seeing a wall of color. And so lighting. gorgeous. Yes. Absolutely. Just shines. It just draws you right in, right? Yeah. You know, it's just something it, about it's that. It's like a candy store. It is. It's yeah, a candy store of paint. <laughs> Don't eat it. Don't eat it. <laughs> so you have lots of paints. I see you have lots some paint paints, brushes. Paint brushes. Very cool. Yeah. Fun. Well, thank you so much. Thank I appreciate you. it. Great job. All right. And Tiffany, thank you, thank you, thank you for your donation or for your little, for supporting me and for being here. I truly appreciate that. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And yes, if you'd like to donate anything, that would be fantastic. We're coming up on Faber Castell. And I don't see her. Mommy Leia is supposed to be here, but she's not here at this moment. So she was coming. So let's flip it around and let's go take a look at Faber Castell. All right. Here we go. Hi, Maya. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for being a subscriber, for uh, being a member. So what do we got going on here? Sorry, is it okay to film? Yes, awesome. He's like, I don't know. I need to ask the person behind me because I'm not sure what I need to do. <laughs> I'm just here. <laughs> so what are you playing with? I love your little monster. Thank you. I'm playing with these new markers. We got a whole bin full. There's a whole bin of markers. And I got some like glossy paper and then there's some matte paper that absorbs. You can see the difference. This is the mat, this is the gloss. Oh yeah, look how much it's like, yeah. This one bleeds Same more, marker. but this one's a bit more vibrant, yeah. Very cool. And, uh, you know, feel free to take some of these markers There's a color in the wall back I will there. come back. It's kind of hard while I'm filming and holding the camera and all that stuff, but I will definitely come back and I will doodle on the wall because that sounds like a ton of fun. I love that. Is there anything you want to tell me about the markers specifically, which one, what they are and what they're all about? I can tell you about that. Great. Um, uh, an alcohol-based marker, they're sustainable, they're made from recycled. The cap barrel and um, cap, this part, are all made from sustainable materials, recycled materials. Can you show me the two nibs again? Yeah. That's great. So you got a brush nib. And oh, I love that fine tip. That's yeah. awesome. Fabulous. Cool. Yeah. And then how many different colors are there? I think there's 16. And these ones are called the Gold Faber, Gold right? Gold Faber. Gold um, Faber or Faber? Yeah. Oh, either one. <laughs> either or. Sketch marker. <laughs> Very cool. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Yes. Appreciate it. All right. I'm going to have to come back and doodle. All right. Here we have, let's say, oops, sorry. I'm having problems with my little gimbal here. So over here I have Magnani. Looks like they're having a business meeting, so I don't want to get into them, but it looks like they have lots of different beautiful. I'm looking to see if I can film. I don't see a camera. Is it okay to film? Cool. So lots of beautiful watercolor. Look at all. Look at, I, oh, here I can. So they have papers. Beautiful papers. Just look at them all. Gorgeous, gorgeous papers. They're very busy over there, so I'm not going to interrupt them. Over here we have Maggie Wrap Color. Hi. Is it okay to film? Sure. Awesome. Hi. You want to tell us a little bit about what you got? Uh, so we're manufacturing. Uh, we do all sorts of paint, acrylic, um, watercolor, oil painting. We also do craft some craft stuff over there as well. Oh, okay. We do our own tubes, we manufacture our own tubes, our own containers. Oh, wow. And these are all cosmetic level um, products. Yeah. Look at the cute little kids. I love that. I love kids. <laughs> kids are the best because they're just yeah. so easy. You open up and you have fun. 
Totally. <laughs> Finger paint, all kinds of cool stuff. I love it. Oh, fabric spray paint. Look at that. Yes. Oh, that looks like fun. Yeah. Awesome. Very cool. Thank you. Appreciate no it. Oh, we have Help Heal Veterans. So if you guys know anything about Help Heal Veterans, they're awesome. I'm sorry. I'm going to side note here. And do you want to tell a little bit about what you guys are about? Hi, we're Help Heal Veterans. We provide free therapeutic arts and crafts to veterans, military, all over the world, free of charge. I love this. The concept is amazing. It is all about supporting and art therapy is real and it is totally, it helps everybody. I mean, it's just getting your hands busy, getting out of your head for a space. And so here are some of the wonderful kits that are made, just making all these different things. They send these out to the military and I already got my coin. I had, it was fantastic. I want to get, tell, can I tell you sure, a story yes. about this one? Love to know it. See how beautiful? Yes. I, I'm in Chicago. I have a storefront, and this was done so by blind veterans. Oh, believe it or not. So it's you know absolutely beautiful. That's fabulous. Yes. And he was blind. Yes. It's amazing. Yeah. See, that's I, I don't even know if I could do that good of a job. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It was just Look a matter that. of kind of getting him started, and right? now he does all of our samples. Oh, that's so fabulous. Beautiful. And I bet he's just loving it too. Yes. That's yes. great. See, everybody, I love that. Thank you so much. Ah, see, the, these, these are the heartwarming things that I absolutely love. All right, so over here, here we go. We got Deco Art is in the house. So you guys know about Deco Art. We're going to go over here and see Sandy and see what she is doing because she's playing with something over here. So Hello. let's see what's going on. Oh, how are you? What are you playing with? I am playing with wax effects. Very cool. So. It is Decor's take on encaustic art without the heat, the expense, the fumes, toxicity. Um, they're all translucent colors. We have 21 colors and we have a neutral, an aged beeswax, and a translucent white that's going to give that cloudy effect uh, like pretty. an encaustic um, piece. You can scribe into it. You can collage paper, put collage paper. I love to use like old dictionary pages. Use stencil stamps, inks, and paint. But no heat needed. No heat that needed at all. That is amazing. There's a little bit of an open time, so it will stay open, you know, a little bit. And then once you're ready to layer your next color on, it goes down into the valleys of things and so creates this amazing. It's like the really easy way of doing encaustic. Extremely easy. So I was playing with encaustic a couple of days ago, and I love the look of it and the feel of it, but I, the heating part, that's just, that's a bear. <laughs> and a little dangerous, and yes, I used it as well and uh, burned my fingers many times so um, but I love to stamp into it oh, I fine. stamped unfortunately stamped into it when it was wet so it That's didn't so pick cool. up in places but when it's dry I'll just go over it and stamp again great or um, could you take a marker into there you could yeah. and again it pairs really beautifully with the decor media line which is all transparent highly pigmented beautiful colors and I love to paint on top, and there's a whole selection down there of things that I painted. So oh, you have to check those I will out. have to go back and paint yes. yes. Do you have to seal this when you're all done? You don't have to seal it. You don't have to seal no. it. No. Nope. And you can actually take a soft rag and buff it to a slight sheen. Oops. So. Yeah, so let's look at the product. It's just nice. It's got great body to it. And when you layer it, again, see how where I stenciled into that wet product? It'll go down into those valleys. So you're adding in the wax effects. Now some of them, are, this is just the, the white, but there's obviously colors of Absolutely. everything as well. Absolutely. Okay. 21 colors. And then again, you can take a, a stencil. Let's do a color so it'll show sure. up better. So we'll do my favorite, which is the cobalt. Tiffany Solerio is going, sold, I want that. That's so cool. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. So and then just layer it. And you can um, use the product over the stencil to get a design, right. but I like to lay it down. Just make sure we lay that down. And take a baby wipe or a paper towel. Uh, lifting it. I'm just going to take away product. And all that yummy texture when it dries, I'll put some Payne's Gray down in there so everything oh, kind of right. comes up. Right. Give it some depth of yes, layer. Yes, absolutely. So pretty. I, you guys can't see it as much. Well, I mean, it's just 
in person it's a lot more obvious the moment dries and you get that layer but you can kind of see you can see some of the other layers mm -hmm. all through there it's so yummy yes. yes that is just too cool i love that yes and we also have a tool set that you know has serrated edges so you actually can come in and create oh, can see really well. some markings very fun into the product let that dry again put things in and it just goes down into the valley of um what is the drying time i, I would say probably about 15 minutes for you to kind of put the next layer on okay. but you can layer wet on wet okay. and get some really cool effects you can mix these they mix really well and i've even actually if i wanted a little bit intense pigment i'll put a yeah, little bit of this with that, that okay and it's it works perfectly what if you use like a heat gun to it does it speed up the drying and or does it make it, it does move? and again you just want to be careful and again that's why we came up with this so right. we take the heat and the toxicity off of it but i will say if you get a heat tool right. close to it it bubbles and makes it incredible texture That's cool. so it doesn't move it around it dries yeah. it okay Correct. Cool. Correct. like an acrylic paint would Absolutely. do the same thing cool. yeah and then again no sealing or anything Fabulous. totally sealed and ready to go that is so pretty yes. i love this, this is you want to see the other samples yeah, let's down go here look. let's go look. let's go <laughs> are these from today yeah we'll just show you the different things you can embed um, again, that encaustic look with the cloudiness, but look at that texture just from that product being laid on with a palette knife, oh. like right there, you can see that. that so, um, cool. so, and then, you know, you just like in mixed media, put that translucent white behind to push things in the background, mm -hmm. use some paint. So I did, you know, that in the background, put the translucent white, then took the paints gray in the media line, painted some trees, and then just continued to layer. Fabulous. Same thing um, on here. One of my favorite stencils, cat fur <laughs> um, stencil. And shout then out to cat. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Shout out to cat. And then uh, you know, stamped into it. You can see where I stenciled into the background. And then when I was creating it, just like her face just automatically appeared in the layers. Aww. And so I just kind of shaded around and started building her. Um, Beautiful. Again, that very traditional encaustic look and then using our media line to paint with it embedding collage papers very pretty stamps yes. and so here is so the full fun. line the full line yep very cool i yeah. love that well thank you so much and then you're behind so me we're doing the watermarbling. the water marbling Absolutely. so i got a demo of this last year i'm gonna squeeze back behind you if you don't mind but this is the water marbling it is so much fun i just got my kit sent to me in the mail right before we got here but I'm just gonna peek over the shoulder real fast. Apparently, May May just likes to follow me wherever I go. She's right over there too. <laughs> so we'll just stand here and let her do her thing real fast. I did have a demo of the water marbling from last year. I'm just over your shoulder filming from the side, so it's all good. Just do your thing. I'm just throwing stones. That's what This is amazing. Yeah, it's really fun. And you know, it's very forgiving. Thank you. There's a little bit of a, you know, What's this called? How do you do this? But you know, we really tried to do this educational video. So, because what you're saying is all this is is sizing mixed with water and yes. then these. Yes. And then your paper. Yes. And see that's cool. You don't have to have every kind of thing. Right. So you're mixing that with water. This is just hydro dipping paper. Because oh, you yeah, know they hydro, hydro dip dipping. all the stuff. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's what I was talking about. Hydro dip. We just try to make it a little bit more sensible. This color palette is real good. Reminds me of like the retro groovy times. Very you know? pretty. <laughs> so the more you build up the, the paint, the more value, less paint you had, you know. And then obviously if you wanted to do like large, this like pair of pants or something, not even large, right? Maybe that's nice. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't got that big yet, but. I love this. It's a you, special paper. Yeah, well, we've got this art. Thank you for pulling it this direction. I truly appreciate that. <laughs> Sorry. Totally done on purpose. Yeah. Totally, totally done on purpose. It. She planned it. Totally planned it. So yeah, and so then I like to have just like a like a little tray of like plain water just to rinse the extra size off of the surface. 
you don't have to do that step. I just think it dries faster. I noticed you rinse it for a while too, which is so crazy because none of that color is like no, going no. back in the water. I know. It's like stuck on there. It's going nowhere. That is cool. It's like yeah. weird magic. Weird magic. <laughs> and it's something you'll find sometimes if you've really like been aggressive with layering that paint, that the paper can only hold so many pan. So it will sort of like, if you see some running, you just throw it back in there. You're like, no, we're not doing that. You just rinse it. <laughs> That's amazing. And then it dries and you do whatever you want with it. That's cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Like we got a two-in-one deal there. <laughs> All right, let's keep on going over here. We have Richson Oils. So we have the oil stick, oops, sorry. And all different kinds. So this is Jack. I'm probably not saying it right. Hello. Oh, thank you, thank you. I taught a class. Everybody seems to be loving my class that I taught. Yes. <laughs> so I'm sure you guys have seen the Jack. Richson, Richson, I can never pronounce that correctly. You guys know what it is. It's right there. Lots of beautiful, beautiful products here. Lots of amazing products. Seems like every business person seems to be talking right now. And of course, it's really loud. There's lots of tempera paints, lots of soft pastels, lots of really cool things. Here we have Revive It, small batch acrylics. Oh, this is still part of dental art over here. Okay, now we're moving on to, we have Angel's Craft DIY supplies. Look at all the cute supplies we have here. So just a little bit of everything. So this is a supply company. It's probably based out of China. And so it's all your basic craft supplies that you would potentially need. Lots of googly eyes and craft sticks. Very, okay to film? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Where are you guys based out of? California. California, there we go. Hi, hello. I was the other night on your <laughs> Sorry. I'm filming. What's up? Sorry, I couldn't hear you. I said I was unpacking the other night. Oh, you're packing. So great to see you. Yes. So glad to be here. You did a great service to us by having that blog from Orlando. Oh, thank so, you. Hi, everybody. Amazing. And it really helped me to set me up to be here and have a successful, successful convention. Well, I'm so glad. I mean, I, the whole point of all of doing these videos is for people that aren't able to come or maybe want to come for future times to understand what the shows are all about. Exactly. So therefore, you can get an idea. And people even said, like, I've watched your video, so I know what to wear. <laughs> well, I watched your video because I love Ranger. I love Alcohol Inc. And yes, I did do the one that you had in last year's video. I yes. did one yesterday. It's fabulous. Oh, the, the flowers. The flowers. Yes. So find us on West Point Arts and Crafts. We're with the DLD. We take care of our military. And again, you, I hope you're on there as well. <laughs> Have a wonderful convention. We'll definitely chat soon. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Oh, those little, those, the, that, that warms my heart when people are like, I watched your videos and I knew what to do. Yes. <laughs> All right. Continuing down. We're still, we're still in the first aisle. We're still, we're an hour in. I'm only in the first aisle. This might have to be a two-part video. I do have a demo at 1.30, my time 1.30. So I'm just, I'm checking to see what time it is. We're at 11 o'clock. Okay. We still got an hour and a half. So hopefully my battery, battery steps so I'm sorry, I'm sticking my hand through here. I'm looking at my battery. 73, we're good, we're good, we're good. All right. So here we have Eclectic Crafts. You guys know what these are. We got our unicorn spit. Wear a hat. Oh, look at that. A hat. You would wear one of these. Oh, you, you, you need a hat. <laughs> you would suit you. Do I need a visor? Do I, do I need, hang on, let's do a little show that's do awesome. I look good in advisor, everybody? What do you think? Oh, that, 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 that works perfect with the hair. There we go. Blue it and red. It goes with the blue. It goes with the blue. Not, only do, not only do we have regular E6000, but we're show, I want to make sure that everybody knows we have E6000 plus low odor, crystal oh. clear. Uh, uh, yeah, look at that. Clear. That's nice. We are also showcasing our E6000 premium. Ooh. Glues, substrates that are really hard hard to uh, glue to kind of like polys and stuff. Right. The traditional glues won't glue. That's going to be the ticket. We're, we're coming out with that towards the end of the year. We want everybody to be aware of it. But if, if you like E6000 and you're doing it indoors and you want lo less odor, E6000 plus is the trick. That's awesome. And is that available now? Yes. Good. Through all your regular And I'm going to use it to stick tile to tile in my new bathroom. Woo! But she's not going to be wearing an E6000 plus because <laughs> She says she wears baseball hats, not not visors. <laughs> I don't mind a 
advisor. I'm advisor's going, cool. Yeah, well, I'm going bald on top, and it's Texas. I need, I don't need this. Hey, I live in Louisiana. Style. You don't have to tell me oh, about this. Well, <laughs> Alright, so you guys know about the unicorn smith. This is the gel satin that we just heard a little bit about. Ski 6000, the new one. And so if you know anything about all the E6000, anything about all the different eclectic products, you guys know your tried and true E6000. It is fantastic. And then the whole line of unicorn spit gel stains. There they all are. Fabulous. All right, somebody was asking me about Doodle Bug. They do not have their own booth, but they might be in some of the uh, distributor booths. So we're going to go check out Olo because they are the coolest markers. So there's a few different markers here, um, but this one is Pigment Deco Brush, but the Olos are the best ones, I think. They're the really cool markers. So you guys have seen me demo these on my channel, Olo markers. They showed up last year at the convention, and they are the coolest markers. I love them. So there's different collections. I'm gonna go around so I don't get in people's way. Here we go. You guys keep hearing shouting and whistles it's because there's a volleyball tournament that is in the convention center just next to us and it is so loud <laughs> so we keep hearing like whistles going off and all kinds of crazy things happening all right it is very very busy but let me see if i can get myself in here real fast and buy all the pretty colors and buy a brush brush combo they, they make their own colors they make their own marker Done. And we're, I mean, these and then are, here is some of the collections that you can get. So if you see these collections, you got one brush on one side. Sorry, so I got my visor. And then um, on the other side, you see it as well. Craft Express, we're going to be getting there. That's coming down the next line. So here are the next one. So I'm on your marker of the month. So I get the markers of the month being sent to me. So I saw you guys at the show last year, did a big video on you. And then it's, I love it. Everybody's like, I love my Olos. So you guys know about Olo. I've talked about him a few different times. Everybody seems to be a little bit busy. So we're going to. Keep on going. I see, I think. Oh, look, we got still. We still gotta go further. Okay, there's nothing that way. That's a dead end. But now we are going into John Bead and we've got Mark Montano here. We got beads. I just keep seeing to following you. <laughs> Sorry. What are we doing over here? We're working with John Bead. Woohoo. I love it. So she's making a beautiful grace. Yep. Very Stretch bracelets. Pretty. Using all these beautiful John beads from John Bead. These are vin and a lot of them are vintage and you can still get them. Wow. It's gonna go down the line because they're all just so yummy. This one's almost like little eggs. Well, they're just flat discs. So just the angle that we're looking at, they almost look egg shaped. Yeah, I think I'm just thinking Easter right now, yeah, so that's maybe. what my head's thinking. <laughs> oh, I love that one. That Isn't one that is gorgeous. Look at those, these are so pretty. And then she's made a whole bunch over here. Did you make these ones? No, these are Danielle Wicks wow. um, designs. Very pretty. Loving it. So what are you doing in here? Are you going to be sitting I'm, and making and playing I'm at some point? Making things with beads. Yay. That's what I'm doing. And I love it. John <laughs> Beads, it's an amazing company. They are. It's been around for a very, very long time. And they're constantly innovating new things. So you I have to check out see what they're doing. These are all the classes that they've done with Michaels over the years. Oh, wow. Yep. And you can still take these classes. And they're constantly coming out with new types of crystals, new types of beads, bead sets. Um, yeah, should take a look at them. Definitely. Yes. I'm going to go get a little closer up photo. Look at their beautiful tree over here. This is gorgeous. Love it. I love as I come in with the camera, everybody starts either backing out or they come into the camera. No, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> Look how pretty they are. So I bet, I'm guessing Mark is going to be here because he's going to be doing some make and takes or going to be doing some demos or he's just helping out in the booth. Lots of different things. Just look at all the gorgeous beads. And then over here as well. Fabulous. So pretty. Okay, now we are finally at the end of the first line. So NG Langer. Seriously. No, nah, okay. I'm, <laughs> no, I'm going to go. So we've got all kinds of beautiful. Well, you're in front of me. I mean, how do I not be in front of you? So we got lots of great, I'm gonna, canvases and papers and aqua boards. Is that about right? Yes. Cool, fabulous. Oh, I love these ones that are like little kits here. Yeah, little kits. That's great. So I always gravitate to the kid stuff. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, and this is uh, NG Langer. So you guys can see, there we go. And they're based out of Vietnam. 
Very cool. I love that. Thank you. Thank you. you too. All right, so here we have Pacific Art. No wheel this year? No wheel this year? Spin the wheel? You had a wheel last year. <laughs> no wheel this year. So you guys want to tell a little bit about what Pacific Art is all about? So pretty much we're a wholesale of um, art in the school supplies. Uh, this actually is a new line that we're adding of our products. Uh, pretty much we already have some of this and we are producing these markers. Oh. So we will have this like at the middle of the year. Um, we have 36 colors and you have like to, let me show you. <laughs> Uh, you have pretty much two uh, type of tips uh, for different designs, right? Um, so yeah, we actually are working on custom kits. So if you need something, you can let us know. Awesome! <laughs> we can get it for you. I'm loving this eraser down here that looks like waves. Yeah. That is really cool. Very fun. Thank you. Shirt! Love a yeah. shirt! Uh, what size? Uh, extra large. I'm a big girl. <laughs> I'm not a tiny girl. <laughs> I get a shirt. Fabulous. Thank you. Look at me. I got a shirt. I love this. <laughs> You're just walking around and being nice. Thank you so much. I love it. All right. So now we're at the end. We're going to go back down next line. And I think this is one of the booths. Whoops. The camera just went bananas on me. The booth next to me is one of the ones I think said no photography. So I'm going to skip over this one. It's the... Am I allowed to film in here or no? Okay. Then they said, so Diamond Art, you guys know Diamond Art Club. It is fabulous. I am loving all the diamond. My kids love Diamond Art and it's just gorgeous. And look at the Harry Potter. They have lots of different licenses. So you guys know what Diamond Art is. It is really, really cool to just look at all the amazing creations. Look at that one. That one is fun. Sesame Street, the Peacock. Oh my goodness. So many fun, different things with Diamond Art. It's great. Okay. Notions is another booth. So this is where we're going to see some of the companies are not here as themselves, but because they are being in the Notions booth. I'm actually demoing here. That's my 130 demo. So here we have Tonic. So it looks like they have a little quadrant here with the Tonic products. So Notions is a distributor where they will come in and they will, if you have a craft store, if you have a an online store or anything, you can go to Notions and you can go, I want a little bit of Tonic, I want a little bit of Tim Holtz, I want a little bit of Crafters Workshop. So we're just doing that. Um, our booths not allowing filming, just curious. There's two, everybody said yes except for two booths. But some of them said, please ask to be filmed. So it's just a polite thing and going in, I don't want to infringe on anybody's space or their time. So I'm just being careful because I don't want to just be nice. You know, instead of just coming in with a camera and being like, er, here I am. I want to be polite and I want to make sure that the companies are okay with me and coming and filming. So I'm just asking. Notions was one of the ones that said, yes, okay. I did double check some of the big name ones that I wanted. I knew I was going to hit because there's lots of companies in here within Notions. So let's get back to, we got our tonic papers, beautiful, beautiful papers, all of the beautiful brushes, the gilding flakes. Why? Well, I don't. I, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't have an answer to that. I'm sorry. I don't have a good answer as to why that's the case. So I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to be demoing. I think I'm going to be demoing over there at some point. Potentially. We'll have to see. I'm not sure. So here we have all the Tim Holtz tonic. Uh, Polite Knits gets you t-shirts. Aw, oh, thank you. <laughs> Apparently, because I got a t-shirt. <laughs> so here we have all the tonic tools. Beautiful, beautiful tools. Here is another, oh, Tonic is demoing over here. What are we playing with over here? Hi. Do you mind if I film? Right yeah, now. That's okay. Oh, okay, fine. cool. <laughs> she's got a couple things going on here. Awesome. She's die cutting. Um, she's showing how to use our new double-sided tissue tape, ah. which is fantastic for die cutting. Um, she's got a couple of, she did a Ferris wheel. I know, I saw the really Ferris wheel at the Collins make and take thing. It was fantastic. Oh, good. <laughs> she did some of our moose. So you could pretty. see over a stencil. Very pretty. But she's just demoing kind of so anything anybody wants to see. Recreating the Ferris wheel again. Yeah. Yeah. So she's just die cutting all the bits and pieces with the dies to recreate that amazing Ferris wheel. I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna spin that thing because that's just the coolest thing in the world. It's interactive and it's amazing. So you did make this one too, right? Yes. Look at this. Classic card, glitter card, and mirror card sheets. Beautiful. 
Look at and they like swing and you can put like little things inside of there. It's beautiful. Thank you so much. And so that is the die set. That's the yes. It's fantastic. Yeah. Cool. I have one little piece for right here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. Okay. So over here we have oh, Little Birdie Crafts. We have a hodgepodge. This is all Little Birdie Crafts. Over here, some more Little Birdie Crafts. Stand back so you guys can see it. So see, Notions has a lot of different companies under their umbrella, so you can get a lot of products and you don't have to go straight. So a lot of wholesalers like to work together and um, have their products in Notions because it's easier for stores to come and buy six of this and five of this and four of this and they can meet their minimum so it's just it's really nice and it's really handy so here we have pixel dots lots of different companies like lots of lots of different products lots and lots of different products so if you're a buyer here you can actually go around so here we have some echo park so other companies that you can do so echo park is here so you can see all of their paper lines through here somebody was asking about doodlebug here's representation for doodlebug today they did not have their own booth but they do have their paper lines here so some companies, this is how they were coming, Graphic 45 is here. And then we have Simple Stories up at the top. I believe Simple Stories does have their own booth this time. And then we got all, see look, this is all the different companies that Notions, Bo Bunny, Heidi Swap, all the American Crafts ones, obviously. And then over here we have Spellbinders and just, so it's a, it's a distribution company. And then here is another demo table. I'll have to figure out what time I am at. Oh, so even Prima is going to be coming and demoing here. And there I am, right there. This is where I'm going to be later today, 1.30. Bam. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? So what are you guys doing here? We got Prima in the house right now. Yes. What? what? How are you? <laughs> We're demoing uh, Finn's brand new, mo uh, not her brand new stencils. We have four different designs. They've not been released to the public yet. Ah. So throwback to when we were releasing products at shows. Right. We're doing that again. Yay! I love that. Yeah. So All right. Even if we weren't supposed to. <laughs> but that's demoing the really messy, chunky. Uh, it's fun. Effect pace. <laughs> so she was showing folk florals and what a beautiful stencil. Yes. Like check that out. Oh wow. It has the big circle there, then it has this pattern repeated up there, and then the Very little cool. vines. I did a uh, Art Deco wall, which is very retro, Southern Miami looking, and I'm just using Opal Magic paint. I also did um, one with Rocket Science. I love that one. Oh wow. Sorry, it's a compass and uh, definitely She's more scientific. It was amazing. This was with wax, yeah. So these three waxes right here. And so just to show you can use anything Pretty much with your stencils. Oh yeah. Right? Stencils are great. Some designs work better with the chunky stuff and some don't. Yes. <laughs> Very cool. So I concur. So you guys are just playing with stencils and all the different mediums that Finn has. Right, yeah. Got right. It. All uh, Prima has them and Notions. We also have full collections that we just released too. So. Fantastic! And then tomorrow, I think that tomorrow you guys are going to be demoing molds. Yes. Ah. Yeah, and then tomorrow they'll be. Very cool. Yep. Come on back. All right. See you soon. I will be around. So here we have all of Prima's items. You can see all of their beautiful, beautiful collections. Take a look at that. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. There it is. And then I am going to be showing off all of this later today because it is just so much fun. That is what I'm going to be playing with today. So all of the beautiful layered stencils, it's gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. So I can't wait. I'm dying to play with that one right there. That's the one I think I'm going to be going for. And that one right there. I'm going to have fun with that. That's my my little thing later. All right, let's keep going around the corner. Over here, we got 49th of Market. 49. Sorry, I, I don't know why. I know. I'm, I am. There's no TH. There's no. Yeah, it's 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 a bad habit of mine. I'm sorry. Not the only one. So many people, and I see it in writing all the time. I'm like. You're no not change. in New York, you know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Get all that good 49 in market. 49 in market. 49. Yeah, if I say it often enough, it'll stick in my head. <laughs> it's funny how that just, I didn't even 
Anybody else say that? Anybody else do that? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Look at all the beautifulness. Love it. So they did not have their own booth because they're here in Notions. So they have a little corner of Notions. So a lot of companies have chosen to do this just because it's easier. I'm sitting on like a, I feel like I stepped on a trigger pad or something. Oh, look at this. I'm loving this. Oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah. I feel like the biggest idiot in the world that I said 49th. <laughs> I don't know if she's legit. She doesn't have a tag on that says press. You need a press tag. Oh, uh, well, I'm under many, many umbrellas. And so I'm actually going to be over here demoing at 1.30 because I do demos. And so I, I have lots of different things. Yeah, right there. You know, that I think can be right bad there. Luck Crafters inside. Workshop. What? That can be bad luck inside under an umbrella. <laughs> true, true. That could be bad luck. <laughs> All the goofballs, all the goofballs come out. So we're hitting the big notions. Hello. So back to little birdie. Let's see what's going on over here. We've got, she's back at her flowers. Yeah, how are you? I am good. Good. Good to see you again. You too. She does the most amazing, beautiful flowers Thank with alcohol you. inks. I took your class last year and I, I was just, her. Oh, yeah, it's the best. It's just so therapeutic, and she is phenomenal at it. Phenomenal. Oh, this one's a little, This is my first one today, so it looks a little crazy. Not really warmed up yet. Um, and but I'm going to put a center in this, and it really kind of brings it together. So I'm just looking for my snow cap now and see where they where they hit it. All right, I'm going to step away for a second. If you want to see the full video about how to do that, I actually have video footage from last year. She's doing the same demo that she did last year, which is phenomenal because it's a really, really cool thing. So if you're interested in how that looks, make sure you go back and take a look. I want to make sure I'm not going down the same aisle as we were before. I think I'm going down a new aisle. Yeah. So make sure you go take a look at that. Um, it's Kimberly Dean. She has, she's a high paid last name, but she's with Ranger. And I have it as a separate demo with Ranger and it's alcohol ink flowers. It's so, so pretty. But we're trying to get to a lot of different booths. So we're going to come around over here. So we have orange art, creative art materials. What are you guys all about? Do you mind if I film? Uh, yeah, actually, we don't want to. Okay, I'll, I'll step away. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll move along. It's okay. It's all good. No, they're not released yet. Got it. No, I totally get it. I got it. Totally get it. See, this is why I ask, because you never know. All right, so Shada. What do you guys like? May I film? Yeah, 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 yeah. What are you guys all about? So we have art line pens. Uh, we have the art line sticks, brush markers. The Supreme Fine Point poster markers, all for calligraphy arts. You can make postcards, greeting cards, invitations. Very cool. Awesome. I love these sticks. I love the texture on these sticks. They're Those like are labeled, so fun. right? We're I know. <laughs> just like the texture on them is so cool. I yes. I bet the kids just love playing love, with them. Love them. Oh. My granddaughter's six and she loves, she loves that yes, texture on yes. there. That is the coolest thing. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Oh, here we have another one. This is a book company looking for reps. <laughs> so we have all different kinds. Do you mind if I film? So lots of different filming or different books here. Lots of how-to books, I'm guessing, right? So anything that you would want to learn in book form, lots of amazing books. This is David and Charles Art and Craft Books. There we go. All right, moving along over here, we have stamp listed. Art anthology. Oh, yeah. It's okay to film? Sure. Awesome. You, you so let's get in here and take a look at what this is all about. <laughs> look at these. Look at these gorgeous stamps. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. So pretty. Oh, look at all these mandalas. Mandalas, no, mandalas, not mandalas. <laughs> but look at all of them. They're so cool. And then we have the art anthology paint. And then here we have, we'll just look at all this beautiful spray mist and paint. So pretty, hey! <laughs> I'm walking around today. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm everywhere. I'm demoing, I'm filming, I'm everywhere. I'm so glad you came. I'm glad you, I'm live right now, so. <laughs> we'll talk later, absolutely. You do. So here we have. 
She is busy, so I don't want to. We're gonna go into here. Oh, what are we doing over here? We are doing amazing. Hi. Yes, this we're making gorgeous. this beautiful car. Beautiful. Yes. So we're stamping and cutting out, and then it's layer, layer, layer. It's for you, so just cut and layering. Just cut yes, and layer. Putting it together and put it on our jewels. Beautiful. Yes. So we're fussy cutting. Yes, we are. Got it. Gorgeous. Thank Those you. are so fussy. pretty. So here we go. I will, she, I'm going to try and talk to Jennifer. She's just really busy and I didn't want to. Sometimes, you know, I, I can't get in to talk to everybody right at that moment. I walk up to the booth because they're already talking and I don't want to be rude. So I peruse the booth and show all the cool stuff and give myself a few minutes. And hopefully by the time the end of it, here is the kits. I love all these beautiful kits. So here is the gorgeous kit that ends up making those beautiful cards down there. Love it. All right. Let's see if she's still busy. Yeah, she's still busy. She's over there showing off her thing and doing her thing. There she is. <laughs> Maybe we'll go one more booth and come back. We'll see. We'll see. We'll come over here. All right. So here we have manuscripts. Lots of different. Oh, lion tails. Look at the cute. Look at the cute little pens. I love all the kids' art products. They're so much fun. They're just, the kids' products are just adorable. So here we have manuscript brands, lots of different brands. This is another one where there's a lot of, so we have Chameleon, Tom Hessen. Um, so everybody is kind of under one umbrella. Lots of cool, it looks like everybody is busy talking. So sometimes I can't get into a booth because they're all busy, but you guys can see some of what the booth is all about over here. And she's still chatting away, so I'll have to come back. Um, R and F, we were doing a, I did a, demo class with them the other day. Do you mind if I come in and film? I was in your class the other day. It was so much fun. So this is what we got to play with the other day, this encaustic painting, and it was so much fun. So just take a look. They have all these, oh, you tell it. You speak, because I'm just. Oh yeah, we have all these great colors, and you can just melt it right on your palette, and using your brush, you can apply it very easily. I'm creating a lot of texture here, just brushing on over some other texture. And then I can take my loop tool if I want to, and I can start to subtract some of that and come back and see and reveal what's underneath. Yeah, Encaustic is a wax-based paint, so it's beeswax, it has some um, damar in it, and then the powdered pigments. What's great about Encaustic is that you can continue to reuse the material too. So I can take this little scrape bit, I always just pop it right into my little pan here and reuse it. Heat my tool to clean it up. And I can keep working on top of the same surface over and over too. So you're not, there's no like stopping point. You can even come back to a painting that you worked on last year. Right. Warm it up and go again. That's cool. So, I got to ask the, the dumb question. How often have you burned yourself? <laughs> oh, you know, I, I burned myself more where I used to um, go underneath my palette to turn the adjustable temperature dial, oh. but I don't really have that issue anymore. Well, that's so. good. Don't that's burn good. myself. Burn free. Yay. <laughs> yeah. I'm always curious, like, how often that's going to happen. So here is some of the beautiful little cakes that you can put in and all the awesome colors. And then there was also the extra resin that you can add yeah. to it. You said the medium, right? Well, the, the medium right here already has um, the Damar in it. So it's it's nice and hard. It's harder than just regular beeswax would be. And when you melt it, it looks like this right here. The one that's um, clear. Oops, Amazing. oops. There goes your brush. <laughs> there, that's what it looks like. And you, we were doing it as a kind of like a layer in between colors. Yeah, and you can do it as a layer in between colors. You can also just use it by itself. You can use it to extend color to make it more fluid or to make glazes. To kind of thin out your color a little bit yeah. too. Yeah, right. and also if you add a lot of it and you don't have very much color in there, you can um, start to see through it as well. That is very cool. So much yeah, fun. Really fun stuff. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. All right, now let's see if she's she's still busy. Hey, look who it is. Shut up. <laughs> I know I was going and checking out the paint. This was our class the other day. We got some cool stuff. You walk around having fun? I'm having a panel. I'm on a panel at 12 o'clock. And I'm going to demo Ellie at 1. Very cool. I'm at 1.30 over at Notion. So, yeah. I'm busy, busy, busy too. Of course. That's <laughs> That's the way we should be, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Shout out to Eileen. Blue.
<laughs> All right, so she is still busy doing her thing. I and mean, maybe I can just go in and say a quick hello. Everybody's saying hello and they want to do a quick shout out to you because so, we're live on YouTube. Awesome. They were all excited. They're like, Jennifer, Jennifer, Jennifer. Who, who are you? I'm Erin Reed. Hi, Erin Reed. Hi. Well, hi, everybody. <laughs> She's busy, Enjoy. so I didn't want to. Thank you very, We already very, went very through much. the entire booth and looked at everything well, and everybody was you. super excited. That is fun. Thank you for doing this. You're absolutely welcome. Thank you. <laughs> feel that. Yeah. All right. So here we have another one. Oh, we're only on aisle two. There, there's many, many aisles. This is gonna have to be a two-part series because I don't think okay, before my demo I'm gonna be able to do this tomorrow as well. So these are all different kinds of paracord. I saw these last year, it's so much fun. And you can weave it into all different kinds of things. So he's got this little futon thing. I mean, it's just, it's so cool. So he's giving away carabiners. I'll have to come back and get one later. I don't want to put a lot of stuff in my hands at some point. Here we have Knit a Rainbow. Knit the Rainbow. What's Knit the Rainbow all about? Uh, we're a nonprofit organization and we collect handmade knit and crochet winter garments and distribute them to homeless and at-risk LGBTQ plus youth who live in New York City and Chicago. Awesome! I love that! Absolutely. Yeah, so if you're a knitter or crocheter, um, go to our website and sign up to get involved. We'd love to have you. Oh, that's fabulous. Okay, so this is the QR code yeah. to help out with that. Shout out to them. Make sure. And I'm going to put the name here because sometimes you can't grab the QR code from the website or from yes. my phone. So make sure you go right there. Knit the rainbow. Dot org. Love it. Thank and you. I snagged myself a pin. Because <laughs> I bought a pin. I don't know if you guys have seen it yet. Whoops, let me go the other way. You guys see? Oh, you're totally fine. So here we have, I have a lanyard full of pins. So I get to add one. Um, Olo Markers, is that the brand name? Yes, Olo Markers, the brand name is Olo Markers. I know you guys are asking me questions and if anybody who is watching knows the answer to these questions, please make sure to help answer. I will do my best to go watch, go back and answer as many questions as possible. But sometimes when they come live, I just, I'm busy talking and I don't see it. So Hori Metal Leaf Powder, is it okay to film? Is it okay to film? Yes. Yes? Do you want to tell me what you're all about? Because this looks really cool. Let me, yeah. pull, let me flip this around. And so we're a gold powder manufacturer. So in here we brought our product. Very powder. pretty. This is genuine gold. Yeah. Oh, look how gorgeous. And just look it on up here. Wow. Are you showing how to use it? Yeah, of course. A demo? Yes. I'm very curious. <laughs> It's 3.44 gold. Oh, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That is so pretty. And I just love all the colors that you have there. Such pretty. So just a little bit of water. Just a tiny, tiny bit of water. Yes. Very cool. And is this different? Yes. This is imitation gold the wax? Oh, no, paint. Okay. It's paint. Okay. So we made this to imitate the expression of real gold leaf. Right. Hello. So, so this is an imitation paint. It's too. imitation. Okay. Got it, yeah. got it, got it. That's the real deal. This, yeah, is, the, this is the imitation. Got it. Yeah. But that looks just as good. Wow. Very pretty. I love that. Gorgeous. And then this is them right here. Yeah, there this you is go. our Instagram, Instagram. page. Very so cool. If you want to visit our, we have another product. Very cool. And so, just to show you guys some of the other products they have here, some of the other colors, color variations. Yes. Gorgeous. Well, thank you so, thank much. You so much. Appreciate it. All right, over here we have Handy Art. Is it okay to film? Yes. What are you guys all about? People want to know. Yeah, we're <laughs> all about uh, paints, water beads, non toxic um, artist paints. And we have kind of the full age range. We have like our washable products over here, which are for you know more beginning artists. And then we have you know like tempras, kind of specialty items, glitter glue, watercolors, um, black glue, India ink. And then we have our more um, kind of like higher professional, intermediate level, um, you know, art, heavy body acrylics, and um, just student grade acrylics. And then lots of mediums and things to go along with that. So. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank so you. much. All right, we're gonna turn around and we've got Sarah. <laughs> I didn't know you were in Crafters Workshop demoing. Sweet. You didn't tell me that. 
Oh, hey, best guy. Best laid plans. Yeah, I know. Ken Ken Oliver was not able to come to the show this year. His dad is not feeling well. And so we're doing all kinds of stuff. But I, I have had these in my house for the past couple of, about a month and a half. And I have been on bated breath to show everybody, but just take a look. We have pastels. I'm so excited. These are the best things ever. So we have a whole line of pastel stencil butters. They're so, so pretty. Just take a look at the yumminess of these colors. I'm going to be demoing with them later, but shoot, just look how creamy and beautiful the stencil butters go on. And of course, with the Crafters Workshop stencils, you want to talk or do you want me to talk? You can talk. Okay. Yeah, She's like, I'm just over here playing. I'm and, just playing. And yeah, having that's, therapeutic That's learning. basically what I'm doing. Is <laughs> I got to get my demo brain on because I'm, I'm up in like an hour. <laughs> Guys, tell me what time do we have? What time is it? Eleven forty one. I got I got an hour and a half. An hour. I gotta be done a little bit time early. Alright, so she's over there busy, but we are gonna do a full booth tour of Crafters Workshop. When I'm demoing later, I'm all I'm gonna come back and talk to you about what we're gonna do over there. Yeah, so I'll be I'm just doing this for right now, but I'll be back. Don't worry. <laughs> we haven't had a little powwow about what I'm doing, but I'm pretty sure I know what I'm doing. All right, over here we have Spell Chocolate. I love that name, Spell Chocolate. That is the best. So lots of beautiful paints. Here we have Rosa Gallery paints, acrylic paints. And I like ripping fine art. Paint by number kits. Lots of cute, cute stuff. Oh, they even have like, are those like the, is it okay, Phil? So are those the, what is that? Ceramic bricks. <gasps> okay, I gotta see this, because this looks so cool. And you have to glue them together and you can build different things. Cool. The Tower of London. <gasps> they're lightweight, but they're, they're ceramic? Yeah, ceramic. They almost feel like a plasticky, but no, not. No, no. I know they're ceramic, but they're not like heavy, heavy, heavy. That's so neat. So I was thinking, <gasps> that is so, okay, I want one. <laughs> well, Where they, do I buy one? The tiles Seriously. are for the mission. Yeah. Do, there's a sheet. Oh, it's California right. missions. Yeah, they so got. This is going to be the best thing. My kids love to build. I mean, they're into Legos and they like the, the 3D foam things, but this is just even better. This is like Lego square. It is. It is the best. Because oh, it's real you. models. You know, yes. It's, and it's then, authentic. Yeah, and they're reusable. If you soak them in water, but oh. you separate them. You can make dry, something else. Can something What's else? the glue that you're using to hold it together? There is a regular white glue. Oh. And if you run out of our glue, you can use Elmer's glue. Okay, so just a like kid's El It's glue. like Elmer's. Yeah. Is that okay. what you're yeah. Very, very cool. Okay, I am in love with these. I know Christmas is covered yeah, now. And we have yes. a lot of different models. <laughs> Where do you live? Like, I'm in Austin. Oh. oh we have like Austin. 60 That's different models. near Texas. Models. Yeah. yeah, it's near that Texas. That was my joke yeah, about Tokyo. And our company is based about. in Texas also. <laughs> very yeah, cool. It ships out of Texas. Yeah. No, yeah. it's oh. from Illinois. From Illinois. Cool. Oh, Wise Elk does too? Yeah. What's that Gainesville stuff? It's just our like legal uh, company oh, address. Oh, for the uh, yeah. LSC thing. Yeah. Got, Got it. it. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. That is the coolest thank thing. For stopping by. Absolutely. I'm loving that. Yes. <laughs> All right. So here we have Masterpiece. Is it okay to film? Okay. And they have lots of different types of fine back into art. So we've got. Well, you guys can look. So they don't have a whole lot, but it's all the canvases and the waste display and all the different shapes of canvases. So very cool. And then here we have Today is Art. You to find out if I'm okay to film in here. Okay to film? What are you guys all about? We mostly do collectibles and gifts and activities. Um, fun. Our customers mostly are museum stores. So. Yeah, since we're all based on masterpieces. Right, look at these. It's a puzzle from Frida. You guys were here last year, right? Yes, yes, we were. Yes. yes. I remember that. And they had all, oh, that's right. You guys had all the really cool pins. <laughs> and, and the, yes, and the, the year yeah, before exactly. as well. So the virtual one that we did. Oh, what's that? Oh, yeah. before. Before that. Yeah. Got it. Before pandemic. Yes. Got it, got it. I love all of their enamel pins <laughs> and their patches. It's like it's like art, but like cool, you know, like yeah, fun art. Yeah, little twist, little twist. Yeah, and then they have the bobbleheads. I love the bobbleheads. Yeah, <laughs> oh, they're not bobbleheads. Regular head, but they oh. are. Just, whoops, sorry. They all have their little special features. So for Van Gogh, you can remove his ear. Oh, you replace it with a bandaid. Frida, you can switch uh, the parrot, a heart. Oh. Magnet, you can remove the apple. How funny! Dolly comes with sets of mustache. <laughs> Can change the pattern of the unclaimed dress. Oh, fun! It goes in the dark. Oh, his hat comes off. Yes. 
What about Monet? Monet? Uh, when you put it oh, in Oh, he changes water, color. changes color. That is so cool. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. you got like little... Yes, a oh, miniature diorama. That's so, so you, fun. It comes flat. It's so you need to pop the pieces out and then you need to assemble it. So like a, it that is on so the shelf fun. so well. It can boop some perfect and then you do have some like paint by number kind yes, of things we do. as well yeah, like, it comes so with the sound inclusive like, kit yeah. come with the brushes the hanging kit the paint pots that are vacuum sealed nice yeah. nice yeah so i've i've had some paint kits that were not vacuum sealed and they open them up and they're just dry as a bone so that's that's awesome the first we did yeah <laughs> we didn't thought of it <laughs> Smart, smart. Yes. See, you, you took you took your we information and you made it better. Yes, that's, that's, that's the best part. Ourselves. <laughs> yeah. Do you think it could be a fit for you? Uh, well, I'm just walking around videoing and showing people what is around. So if you guys are interested in art history, what do we call it? Today is art. Today is art day. Art day. Yes. So I am showing to customers that could go to your site and purchase. Wonderful. So that's what would be, if they're interested in these things, I'm showing them what's available. So possibly some online sales coming your way. Amazing. Yeah. Thanks for stopping You're by. welcome. <laughs> so go get your stuff. <laughs> all right. We already talked to Boya. We got all their stuff from them over here. What do we have? The Art Brush Institute. Okay to film? Oh, awesome. Can you show us what you got going on or tell us a little bit what you got? Uh, Love to know. We have written two books, Airbrush 101 and Airbrush 102. Uh, this is a complete intro to air Airbrush class in a workbook form. So we start off with the very basics how to hold and we go into everything airbrush can do which is dots, lines, dagger strokes, some shading and some textures and by the end we'll be able to do the four final projects that are built with the skills. The best part is that it's a workbook so you can duplicate these pages over and over and over until oh. you're proficient at each and then you can move on to the next. Can you demo the brush for me real fast? Cause that's the best part, I think. Well, sure. you know? yeah. The book is cool, but I can't do the book without the thing. <laughs> so these are actually exercises, so we put them on, yeah. so you would actually try to get in between and try to get your dot exactly on those lines, and we're gonna teach you how to uh, be proficient in the airbrush. Uh, this is one yeah. of the other ones. So they're little dots and big dots, so you have to line it up and move it along, try to be as as you can as you go. So this is really like learning how to airbrush. I exactly. love that. Instead of just like you get the airbrush and you're like, now, now what do I do? Exactly. It's and you can watch all the YouTube it. videos you want and you're not going to have anything to apply it to. So that's right. what we've done. Is we made it that's very so smart. So uh, Airbrushing 102 picks up where 101 left off and there's 19 projects and they again they build on your skills and by the end you'll be doing some fine art projects. Cool. It's, can I come back and play later? Oh sure. Yes. <laughs> in black and white, but at the beginning of each of them, there's a QR code that'll ah, take you to full color pictures. Very cool. So, I love that. Color. Yes. Fabulous. What yes. a smart, smart idea. We're on Lulu.com, self-published, and uh, we're also available on Amazon, Barnesandnoble.com. And very cool. Okay. Well, awesome. thank you. So I this is the fun. Art Brush Institute. Air Brush. Institute. Air Brush. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, that's good. That's, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna. You say it. I'll just hold it up. The Air Brush Institute. There we go. <laughs> I totally screwed that up. That's okay. <laughs> I do that all the time. All right. You. you guys are wanting me to go see. Is that Aaron Reed? That is me. Well, famous <laughs> no, Aaron Reed. <laughs> now you're making me like. <laughs> well. So, what do we got going on? So, here at Craft Express, we are making Portland can coolers. Woohoo! So, we have four designs that people can choose from. And then we are wrapping them with our 401 can coolers. This can take a shorter like Coke bottle. It can take a taller skinny bottle, yeah. like a yes. white cloth yes. or a beer bottle. Ooh. Or you can pour your drink directly in it and it has its own lid. Oh. So this is a really cool item that we're super excited about. Yeah. And it's certified for eight plus hours of temperature control. Nice. And obviously look at the colors. It's, it's fantastic. And we're going to be coming back on Tuesday and doing some video here with all this, right? Yes, so I'm not going to divulge what's happening. You're going to have to come back and watch the video on Tuesday. And we're doing it at, remind me of the time? 1 p.m. Eastern. 1 p.m. Eastern. So 1 p.m. Eastern on Tuesday. We're going to be talking about all this cool stuff with the demo, but we're just doing a little preview right now. Sorry, I totally like in, she doesn't want to speak. Look, I mean, you're on camera now. <laughs> Oh, got it, got it, got it. And now we got our Esprit in the house. Hey, how are you? Good. 
What do we got going on? So Ivy is making something for John with our new block alphabet stamps. He's just going to put his name on it. Oh, fabulous. Yes. So what's the cool thing about these stamps and why are they different than the other alphabet stamps? Let us um, know. Yeah, so this, uh, so we, these, since these are sublimation products, it has to be um, reversed on the paper. So we came out with a uh, sublimation block alphabet so you can make your own words. So you put the uh, letters on the block normally. It's not, you know, not complicated, just J-O-H-N, and now it's reversed on the paper. So yeah. right there, you can't see it, but can you hold it up to this camera that way? Now go the other way. Now flip the paper. Oh, oh, what do you mean? Yeah. This way? Yeah, see that? Now you can see that it's written correctly because that's what you're going to be seeing. Ta-da! <laughs> I was trying to get there. We were uh, my my words were not coming yeah, out of my mouth at all. Yeah. It was just failing like flop. So then the blank, we're just going to tape it on to. And then this is heat tape, heat resistant tape, so it doesn't move when we press it. Best heat tape ever. And then. I'll just here. I got it, Ann. Oh, was that one all dirty? Do you want this had a little bit of ink? Do you want to make sure you have a clean paper, otherwise you could get some of that transfer going onto your other paper? Oh, I love how you're just creasing it. I always make two separate pages. Too, that is the, the that is the greatest, so smartest thing ever. I don't know why I never thought of that. It's funny, you have to see somebody else do like a little trick and you're like, aha. Uh -huh. And it's pressed for 385 degrees for 45 seconds. There you go. And when it's done, it's going to come out, except it's going to say the word John. Because <laughs> you're special, you need your own. All right. Well, we're going to be coming back and playing with you guys on Tuesday. And we're going to be doing some lives between everybody on Tuesday. So there we go. But now we got a little sneak preview about Art Spree and at Craft Express. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. 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 See, look at all the cool things you can sublimate. So many fun things. Okay. We already talked to New World. This was the crayons and the thing. Okay. Over here we have Activa. Activa has got some really cool stuff. So we have little mushrooms. Activa's got all different really cool supplies so anything to do with clay anything to do with i've actually been the demo person here before it's been a ton of fun so there's clay and there's paper mache and all different kinds of clays all different kinds of mediums which you can use to make some really really cool products i'm gonna steal one of these we're in ohio so you know buckeyes you gotta have a buckeye but we got kiln fire air dry clays paper mache we've got um heavy specialty clays if if you ever are interested in kind of just getting your hands in there and having fun, this is the way to go. They also have colored sands. So, ITV has got some really cool stuff. Is it okay to film? Yep. Cool. So, what are we doing over here? Hey there. Hello. I am uh, using various Chroma paints, our mural paint, our Sonia paints, to uh, paint this mural. Very pretty. Thank you. Make sure you come back throughout the day because it's going to be it's evolving and creating. Get better and better and uh, better. Let's, and hope, <laughs> let's hope it is a work in progress right now. You're here for the ugly stage. Uh, the blocking. No, it's the beginning stage. It's not the exactly. ugly stage. We're getting there. We're getting going. Exactly. Come back in another couple, of, another couple hours. So she's using the mural paints, which you can see all the paints over here. And they are just absolutely beautiful. And then here's some in like a stick form, paint markers, which are fabulous as well. All right. So... We are gonna move further on because we've seen those booths. This is the product shoot, new product showcase. I am gonna go around one of the days and I'm gonna do a quick little like video just on this. But this is all the new products from different companies that is just, it's just really cool. I think I'm gonna do this as, as a recorded video and then I will put it up after the fact so you guys can see this. Over here we have Clover. Just checking my time, seeing where we're at, 11.55. Hi, what do we got going on today? I am working on half square triangles using Clover's no hassle triangle gauge. Oh. Sorry, I have to totally have a snack. I'm like eating a snack right now. Oh, Keeping yum. my energy up. <laughs> Are you sharing? <laughs> They're over there. You can go <laughs> but you got a basket of candy, right? Look, I got a whole basket of candy right there. <laughs> so how does that work? Okay, so I'm cheating because I can, right? So 
I'm, I'm using uh, pre-cut fabrics here at the show, but normally um, this will help you get half square triangles, which is this right here, and these quarter square triangles to be the same size. Right. But because I cheat and I use the pre-cut fabrics that are available at the shows, um, that's why mine don't match up. But if I were at home and wanted to, do, to make those match, what I would do is use this as a gauge and say I want my finished block to be four and a half inches square. I would slide the gauge up here and it would tell me what I need to cut my fabric to so that I can get a finished four and a half inch square block. And conversely, if I wanted the quarter square triangle to match up, I would just use the gauge on this side and cut at that dimension. Cool, I love that. I also, every year I see these, I just think they're the cutest things in the world. The macarons. Oh, uh, the yes. macarons. And it's like, you put your pin inside them so your your needles are ready. Yes. Or your pins or anything, so not just hanging out. That's it is the smartest little thing and I just think they're the cutest oh. in the world. How many colors of those are there? Just two. Just the two. Pistachio and raspberry. That is just, it's perfect. So, so very cool, I love that. That is so smart. Yeah. It really, really makes really triangles easy. so much easier. Thank you so much. You're welcome, thanks for stopping by. Yes. So Clover is got all kinds of really cool, do you mind if I go in? All kinds of really cool products. I mean, from your basic, all of your, see there they are, little my friends. Um, your sewing tools, they have some really cool things. You also have like these yo-yo makers, which are really fun. Sorry, my gimbal keeps getting in the way. Um, they have pom-pom things, I really am loving. It's so easy to make these pom-poms with their pom-pom maker. It is fabulous. And then over here, oh, I love this. I love these things, these are the best. Can you just show us really quickly? I saw this last year and I, I just think they're the best thing you. ever. It's these are the pom-pom makers. I yes. love these pom-pom pom -pom makers. makers. Those are the best. You just open them out like this and like this. Wind your yarn around, fold it over. Wind yarn around, fold it over. Snip, snip, snip. Snip, 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 snip. Tie your tie around it. And you want to tie it as tight as you can get it and then pull it again. Right. Wrap it twice and pull. Wrap it twice and pull. And then this pops right apart. And then you can just pop your little like pom pom that. off. And, and it makes such right. amazing easy pom poms and compared to the other methods. Do not be a chicken clipper when it comes to trimming your pom pom. <laughs> it's got a little fluff sticking out. Go ahead and cut it off. Yes. You do you're have, to have that little bad hair day baby thing going. <laughs> yep. Got the fabric tube maker. Super cool if you use fabric at all. Pops apart just like that and like that. Take your little fabric strips. You can put batting on or not. Your choice. Stuff it right in there like that. It'll fold it in half once you tidy it just a little bit. I got it in there. A little crooked. Take the long one. Slat it right on there. Snap. Got it folded right in half for you. Oh, nice. Fold this up. Always your notches up. Stuff it in there, notch up, click, and now your tubes are sewn. Man, right that's so machine. much easier. And you can come up with a tube like this. Oh my goodness. Look at or that. Or you can do, for, you can use a bias strip. And yeah, make everything makes life so much easier for binding. Absolutely. Yes. Bracelet makers, needle punch, you guys padding. Ever, you guys ever done this? This is so much. You mind if I do it? Oh, go for it. And you just punch, punch, yep. punch. I, I'm really screwing this up. Ah, uh, there's no messing up. It's just needle punch. Lead with the slant on needle punch. Always lead with the slant. Am I doing that right? Yeah. Okay. My daughter was playing with this, and See I just how think simple it's, it is. It's a very shallow learning curve on this. I'm doing really wide stitches because I'm only one-handed, but. <laughs> See, you get your loops on the other side. Oh, look at that. And it's fun. got the legs to keep it up off your table surface, so, so you're not fun. dinging up the dining room table. Yeah. Smart, smart, smart. Yeah, that. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> this is all clover. Thanks Check out your clover. clover. Absolutely. All right. Over here, we have another fun booth. Take a look what we got here. Let me just check my time. Checking my time. 12 o'clock. Okay. We got about an hour. I seriously think we're only going to get to half the show. <laughs> all right. So. Simple stories. Do you mind if I film? Is there anything that you want to tell us about new releases? Anything fun? We got lots of people that have been asking. They're curious. Yes, all of our new releases are here. All right. I'll lead the way. You lead the way. These are our new releases. Beautiful. Oh, look at those colors. 
I'm loving those muted tones. Oh, so pretty. That's my jam right there. Right there, that one. Yep, yes. <laughs> Absolutely. It's so pretty. And we included the 6x8 paper pads for Oh, nice. I love that size. Very cool. Okay. A little bit different than a six by six. You can get a little bit more out of that. You can get a little slimline action if you needed to, well, and fits they were, great. They were, not that you would maybe use it for this album, but they yeah. work best for the for the binders. Because you have the full page binders, then you don't have to cut up the, the twelve by twelve. Paper. Right, 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 right. Well, I'm, I think from a card standpoint, so like card making, oh, right, and it totally right. would work for that too. Yeah. yeah. So is it more on the other side? Yeah, this whole this whole, this whole section. All right. Is trail mix. Trail mix. Oh, so cute. cute. Super adorable. I love the trail mix. And then we have another one over here. Just keeps on going. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> the little things. Look at that. Little things. Oh, look at the adorableness here. It's not a lot of purple ones. Definitely. Uh, purple is cool. There's nothing wrong with purple. And is there one more on the other side? Sure. Oh, the essential. <laughs> Look how pretty that one is. <laughs> There's three, and these are all these rub-ons will layer and not come up. Yes. Very cool. Look like all the paper lines. Are we saying yes? I love simple strawberries. Love their paper. I want to interrupt your. No. Wow. So these are like clipboards, and then they have these separate. So then you can add a clipboard top to it, and then making it a little more dimensional. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, yeah. yes. There we go. Yeah. Look at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So we get for life. You can add dimension to the chipboard, which yes. is really cool. Yes. You get like a little paper, like a clipboard. So fun! I love that. Well, thank you so much. Sure. And there's a little wide span of all the, obviously the snap pocket pages, and here we have some other collections that they have. So you guys know all about them. They are awesome. Fantastic, fantastic. So cool. Oh, I missed a booth over here as I was walking around. Missed a booth. All right, so here we have Itoa. I, yeah, Itoa. Okay to film? Okay to film? She wants to know if she can film. Is it okay to film? Sure. Okay. I'm Erin Reed. Hi, Erin. Can I tell you a little bit about? I would love to. If you would like to tell us about and tell us all about what you got going on here, that would be fabulous. I live for that. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm guessing. <laughs> So, um, what kind of feeds do you usually do? Do you do paper? I do all kinds of different like crafts, you know, from paper crafting to kids crafts to the whole thing. Lots of stuff. We actually chatted last night. Yes, yes, yes we chatted last night. So we are looking for partnerships. Great! And stuff with social media people. You guys made the little um, birds last year, right? The origami birds? No, that was Yasu. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. We're friends with them. Okay. <laughs> but we do have these. They're buttons. <gasps> Keep calm and fold. Look at that. What reminded me is I saw this in there and I was like, oh, maybe the ones that did it. So it's so fun. I have a lanyard, so I get to put things on. Cool. And what does this say? Origami. It says origami. So much fun. I have buttons. I have buttons. <laughs> I love buttons. <laughs> so Ito is mostly Japanese products. Okay. So we sell origami only made in Japan. Nice. That's really important because it matters what that base paper is. Right, 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 right. So you can see we have a massive look at all selection of, of origami. Look at all that. So pretty. Origami is great for paper crafting. You can throw it through your Cricut machine. It works for... Not just for folding and just making it, for folding. It, origami paper is not just for folding. <laughs> I'll show you Sarah's work and she uses origami and she's doing paper pieces. Oh, wow. I'll so it is it. wonderful because you get a whole group of different kinds of different patterns of paper mm -hmm. some are on a theme that you can use now this paper right here is especially wonderful you should feel it oh yeah so it's a solid core paper that means it's the same color on the front and right the back right and inside it'll take drawing medium markers acrylic you know watercolor makes it a little wiggly 
but it's a grape and jelly print. Oh my oh, gosh, really pretty it loves there. jelly printing. So. so there's all kinds of patterns. This is traditional, regular origami paper. These right here, these absolutely beautiful. And we beautiful. do have a lot of single color packs. Right. These are all called use ends. And they're on a special paper. They're screen printed. Mm -hmm. And usually with a, a bit of mica in it. Uh, we have wonderful markers. These are really opaque. The white is the best white opaque marker. Um, this is really fun. I think every paper artist needs a bamboo paper tool. Everybody needs it's, a bone folder. But it's not a bone folder, it's a bamboo folder. <laughs> so it's vegan friendly. Hey. It's vegan friendly. It's a renewable resource. It's made out of bamboo. Perfect. So, and it's half the price of the bone. Nice. So we also have the drill punch so that you get a perfect size hole when you're doing like binding inside a card or oh, something nice. like that. Nice, nice. You're looking for that punch that reaches all the way. You don't need it. Very cool. We have fun things from Nepal. Our shikishi boards. This is a traditional Japanese surface to work on. It's paper on a board. Oh, nice. So you can collage on it. You can do calligraphy on it. You can do acrylic on it. You can... So it's an alternative to a watercolor board. Right, right. And a lot less. I love, I love the different shapes that you have on it. Yeah. yeah. Those are fun. <clears throat> and then this is Oops, what we're sorry, sorry, sorry. introducing <laughs> new, some new origamis, some really fun little little guys. These are hand Aww. felted. Are you adorable? Aw, cute. And everything. My dad always go nuts for one of those. <laughs> and we have our pencil pouches. This paper, you're going to have to describe it to your viewers. It's like tissue paper, kind of, but not like rice paper. It actually is the original rice paper, and there's no rice in it. Oh, weird. So this is called Kozo. This is handmade by one guy in Hanamaki, Japan. Wow. So he goes out, he harvests the fiber, he creates the, the nori, which is the uh, size that goes into it and pulls each sheet himself. That is amazing. It's expensive. Oh, I'm sure. That but it is amazing. People that love paper, um, Kozo is amazing. These are our new Nepali papers. Aren't they beautiful? They are gorgeous. Sorry, my gimbal's kind of acting weird here. I'm gonna go up. There we go. And then what is she doing over here? Let's go see what Sarah's doing. Quiet your minds, wanna know. <laughs> so this is Sarah's work. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Thank you, thank you. No, no, I, so you're taking the paper so piecing or are you just coloring? No, see, this is, this is some of our paper. Yep. Ah, and then you're going in and coloring other sections. So you're paper yep. piecing some and watercoloring others. Yep. Very cool. This is a completed piece. Right, yeah. the same kind of elements with, Very the, cool. with the colors. And that one you poured into resin? Yes. I did a layer. Oh, that is so cool. So Sarah uses a lot of our products, our watercolors, our markers, our paper. <laughs> Just keep going and going yeah. and going. <laughs> well, they work for her. Yes. So um, she's incredibly, ta incredibly talented. I love that. She does teach she classes on social media. These flowers she can cut. do all of so that. So give a shout out. Where can people find you? On TikTok and well, Instagram, but mostly TikTok. Got it. <laughs> At Swing Sakura Art. <laughs> very, very cool. Awesome. She does have business cards with all of her handles on them. So awesome. There she is. <laughs> very cool. So, if you if you love paper and things like that, I mean, I know this looks incredibly difficult. Yeah, nope. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> But we are working on creating, getting her a book that would have the drawing done. Oh, and then you could just go back and fill it in yourself. Yes. Very cool. Thank you so much. Just look at her art and her card. <laughs> so pretty. Well, thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Yes. Your class was awesome. Oh, well, thank you. I, I was, appreciate that. I was that. the one who hates all the ads. <laughs> <laughs> See, now I'm like, yes, I remember that person. Aaron. Stay in touch. Yes, yes. I'm just filming live, but I'm going to be doing other times where I'm not filming and I'm chatting with everybody. Okay, okay. absolutely. Because yes. out of everybody I spoke to yesterday, oh, well, thank was you. there anyone nice to there? <laughs> nice to meet you. Oh, you. I'll be back. All right. See, you never know when you just are nice to people and you talk and you just, it's cool. It's all good. All right. So over here we have Silver Brush. Let me double check if we're, we can chat with Silver Brush. Is it okay to film? 
They're, they got the check. Cool. Yes. Anything you want to talk about with your brushes? Mention to the audience. We're live on YouTube right now. <laughs> she, she has this deer in the headlights look like, uh, uh. Pitch like, you don't have to be on there. You can just talk about it. Well, we like are. Like your normal pitch. Yeah, well. Normal pitch. <laughs> There's, is there such a thing in the fine art world? I mean, honestly, <laughs> really. So we are Hello. Silver Brush. Hi. This is our creator, founder. Hello. She actually founded the uh, company in her basement in 1990. She went on our first order in 1991. Wow. It is a family owned business and maintains that to this day. I know, tired feet, it's what it is, you know? It's tired feet. Oh my gosh, right? <laughs> I did not wear the right shoes today. Don't worry, I'll be Is there a, one brush we want to talk about? Let's get up close. About, let's get up close. Let's okay. talk about our black velvet. Let's All get right. up close. Let's get up there. So we pre-designed the set packaging and really worked with artists um you know just trying to find a, you know the, that that perfect match of what they really need when they're purchasing sets this one has the size eight round in black velvet like the most popular watercolor brush in the world is cool. it is the workhorse of watercolor brushes and it also has a 12 and a 4 so larger and smaller this is my personal favorite set and that's because it has Call it the oval wash, but it's past stock, it has that size eight, and then it has that size one script liner for those fine lines and details. Very cool. In black velvet, they're a swirl and synthetic mixture. You have to have a little bit of the synthetic in there, or else the entire brush is just gonna pull it up. <laughs> and it's gonna it's a very not so firm brush. It's a not so firm. <laughs> I mean, it's a full belly, it holds so much water. It's a dream. Right. But very, you know, Great for loose, great for details. I'm just showing other brushes. Oh, that's talking. cool. That's our Mottlers. You know, we have goat hair, our hockey, perfect. These are good for encaustic. Yes. And Love my that. history nerd heart is so happy that encaustic <laughs> X and is coming back. It is definitely coming back. Like, I'm seeing it yes. in a few different, either as like true encaustic or like a faux encaustic. I've seen well, those too. We which actually is fine. have one of our silver brush educator, uh, is she teaches encaustic painting. That's she uses fabulous. our silver stone, so which this is hog bristle. That's our Grand Prix top line. This just makes me happy. This just like panel of brushes is just. Oh, mm -hmm. it's it's heaven. You know what I mean? It's just yeah. like, and that's just the coolest thing. I just gotta spam back and forth because no, it's just it's so pretty. The Grand Prix brush. <laughs> what's amazing about these? So this is our top of the line hog bristle. This brush, these brushes have painted presidents. Wow. Oh. Princess Diana, no. uh, Michelle Obama's portrait that is hanging in the Smithsonian. She used the artist to use her brushes. And again, for oil and acrylic. Yes, and that is really for oil because it is a natural hot bristle. It's fine. Now, this is Red Sable, this Renaissance. It is amazing for watercolor and for oils. Soft, fur. You just kind of want to pet it. Just pet it. Just pet it. And they come in and just pet. Oh, isn't it great? Oh, that's nice and soft. It is. It is. This it's is when like, you need to treat your brushes with respect and not just leave them sitting in water for hours. Oh, because please, no. Do not no, do that. No, do not. No, no, no. Be Never kind be, to your brushes. You, the one way to ruin a brush is to leave it in water. You dip it, you Sorry. clean it, and move in. Dying of thirst. <laughs> uh, I understand. Then uh, we also have synthetic mongoose, long and short handle. Our bristle on, which is a synthetic bristle, you see the blue. Our silver silk, purple, long and short handle. The short handle comes in a variety of shapes. It is so fun and so interesting to paint with. Um, then we have our jumbos here. So for those big mural paints, when the background on. When you need to put down a lot of paint, this is your yes, guy. So I'm These are for watercolor and acrylic, and we have another set down there. That's hot bristle. That's more for uh, sales. Very cool. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for that Absolutely. quick rundown. It was fabulous. I truly appreciate it. Reduce, reduce, and keep it interesting, right? <laughs> well, thank you again. Absolutely. We're available at retailers across the world. I think we're in 45 different countries. There you go. So yeah. look up Silver Brush Limited. You can get all these amazing brushes, and you can paint like the stars do. Is that a tagline? <laughs> it will be now. I'm stealing that. It's not the person that does social media. Oh, so, hey. you're welcome. <laughs> I had to throw that in there. It was just kind of fun. All right. We have 
Alpha Core? Alpha 6 Core. Very cool. Enamel Alpha 6 Core. All different kinds of cool paints. I love their bottles. They're so cool. Just look at these bottles. They're so much fun. Oops, I'm off on, on screen. And just look at, again, I get so giddy when I see like these color panels. They're just these really, really pretty color panels. They're so much fun. Hi, is it, sorry, I didn't even ask. Okay to film? Great. Anything you want to tell us about your products? We have new point of sale packs for our sneaker paints and our enamels for beginners. And then we have our professional line that um, have all these different sizes of our, of our sneaker paint, our uh, textile paint. We have a new hobby paint. We do paint markers, paint brushes. Um, all of our solvents that go along with all of our different paint products. We're in Detroit. Automotive is where we originally ah. Very cool. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right. Moving on down the line. Oh, this one I love. This one is hilarious. Okay. What is it? We're at 12.15. Okay. I got about an hour left for this live, but I'm going to try and hit some more. This one's a fun one. I, I got in this kitty cat last year. You can actually go in behind it and I pop my little head out. It is just so much fun. So you can actually see, you can go in the kitty cat. <laughs> it's just too much fun. But it looks like we are doing something, or he's doing a sales pitch. There's something happening over here, so I don't want to get all in their space. But they do all different kinds of really cool books. Um, they have lots of cool stuff. So they actually have a custom ink over here that you can do. And they have little pencil cases and pen cases. And then zig markers are over here, too. So there's just all different kinds of stuff. So this is our portfolio. And then here we have studio design. So a few different... <laughs> I, I was... Do it again, do it again, do it again. There we go. <laughs> so do you want to tell us, is it okay to film? Sure. Want to tell us a little bit about what you guys are about? Yeah, so Studio Design sells furniture and art supplies uh, for art retailers, distributors across the country. Um, we also have a brand Artograph that supplies digital projectors, opaque projectors, and light boxes uh, for digital art. Very cool. Yeah. Can we walk around a little bit sure. and see? Very fun. I love how you guys got Dunkin' Donuts this morning. Yeah, help yourself. <laughs> got to run on Dunkin'. Oh, I wish I could. I wish I could. <laughs> so all different kinds of sewing desks and drafting tables and art desks and standing desks, it looks like, right? Yeah. yeah. Very cool. I love them and all. And chairs for those desks. Ah, because sometimes you want to stand and sometimes you want to sit. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. And then you've got lights. Yes. So we have, we're coming out with some new lighting for artists. Uh, the one prototype we have to display is this swing arm lamp. Mm -hmm. uh, it's an updated arm, it's an updated head. It, the old one is pretty universally recognizable. Uh, we're trying to kind of give it a refresh and updated look. Uh, and this is what all our lamps are going to look like along these lines. Cool, and I'm seeing the ring light over here too. Yes, uh, this ring light's pretty awesome. Um, if you want, I can show you it in a second. But it's uh, 18 inches in diameter. Uh, it can be fully mobile. Uh, all you have to do is put batteries in it, and then you don't. It's wireless, fully wireless. Oh, nice! And then also for how a, long? Uh, two hours. That's not bad. Yeah. Um, dimmability function, brightness reduction function. Uh, and can you then, do like white light and yellow yeah, light? Yeah, and yeah, change yeah, it? yeah, okay. totally. Color temperature. Sorry, like the nerd in me that figures no, all the time yeah, is just starting to ask questions. Yeah. Like this is a me time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And then um, also a USB, so you can charge your phone while you're using the oh, ring light. Oh, yeah. nice, yeah. nice, nice, nice. And I see there's a smaller version too, so you had yes. a couple of different sizes. Yes. Cool. Well, you just gave the whole spiel for it. Yeah. That's awesome. And then you got a artist over here painting away, having fun. Yeah. Lovely. Because that's what we love to do, right? So this to play is Hans. Hans. Hello, Hans. I'll let Hans tell you a little bit about what he's doing. Well, what you doing? Well, you can oh, push. are you projecting? It's a projecting system that uh, allows you to load a photo, like th this was the original picture, <laughs> and then we go to the first layer, which is your lightest color, and then the second layer, third, Very cool. fourth, fifth, and here's your last layer, and then the painting is finished. That is so cool. So. Uh, if you're not very creative, then this would be a... Uh, or you're, you're wanting to learn how to layer your colors and kind of get the concept of it. It's, exactly. it's a teaching tool, which is fabulous. Tool. 
Very cool. It would work well in paint and sip as they get a lot of uh, consumers in that really don't know how to paint. Then this is a great tool for them. It's like a different way of doing a paint by color in a way. Yeah, like yeah. a digital version of it. That's so cool. Fun. And so any picture you can then turn into a piece of artwork with just... Exactly. <laughs> So you're, how many different photos you're going to be working on? Because this one almost looks like it's done, getting closer. And this guy can crank them out. He's just like, like probably going. two an hour. Wow. Mm. Wow. That is just... So that, Aaron, uh, yes. you're, are you like an influencer? Or? Yeah, I'm a content creator, okay. influencer. I do short form video, long form video, live. I'm going to switch it over so you guys are staring at me while I do my page. <laughs> so hey. we're live on YouTube right now. Sweet. And so, yeah, okay. I do all kinds of content. Cool. Uh, let me get your card. Yeah. Um, I'm doing business now. Yeah. <laughs> Here, this is me. Sweet. Because, uh, you know, trying to find people like you who can, you know, advertise our products a little bit, promote our products. A bit. I shoot video pretty much every day, Sweet. either in the form of live videos yeah. or short videos. I have a studio that I use in my house, and Dude. I would love to work with you guys. Yeah. Where do you, uh, where are you based? Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas. Nice. Okay. Thanks for coming by. Yeah, absolutely. And come back if you want. I definitely will. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> you never know when opportunity knocks. The best part of this. Hello, is it okay to film? Yes. Fabulous. Let me flip this around. I love the wall. It is fabulous. This is a great, like you really catch your eye on this one. It's great. So do you want to tell us any cool products you want to mention? We're live on YouTube right now. Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> So, yeah, we're trying to get people to put uh, four new the four linear colors, uh, all displayed here on this lovely shoe. They're named after the planets. Um, That's cool. I love the planets. They're really beautiful. Uh, look how adorable. So, what is the this. names of the colors that we have right um, now? This is Saturn, Mercury, and then there's a Jupiter and a Neptune. Very I believe. <laughs> Um, just just well, call it that for now. Good. We're good. Yeah. We're good. Yeah. People will forget that. <laughs> <laughs> Think it's like a maker, right? <laughs> yes. And then uh, we also I have some new fluorescent acid dyes. And I don't know, look at this pop over here. It'll do it right. So the acid. The light's a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah a kinda. Lot. Yeah, yeah. We're good. Well, on film, it's a little bit. <laughs> you can, yeah. There it goes. It's, oh, yeah. It's like a highlighter. It's yeah. A big, Pop. Yeah. So um, the acid dyes work on natural fibers. So silk, wool, protein fibers, nylons. Um, you can see there are some here too. Not if we, it might do another oh, little oh, day glow situation. A little bit, yeah. And I also it's have, still really vibrant just in person. I too. know. Yeah. Beautiful. I mean, it's gorgeous. And I have a few other samples that were dyed there as well on this clothing rack. Yeah, so sure, sure, sure. This awesome fluorescent <gasps> pink. This wow. was a white pea coat. My friend would love that. Isn't it fabulous now? I just love it. Um, this was also a white. This was a fluorescent red. <laughs> okay, my daughter is going to be totally jealous because she has wanted to come to these shows. And I'm like, honey, no, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm working. <laughs> so now that she's going to see a little peanut, which I think is the cutest thing ever. I love it. And here's the orange. It was a bit out of necessity. So yeah, yeah, no, I, life happens, right? Yeah. And she's being amazing. You're doing a great job. She's helping us with our cyanotype. Yay! Yay. So those are our new items. Um, if you want to information i'm happy to give it to you well we're just doing little snippets kind of like your fun new things because i'm just doing a walking tour but this is jacquard and they have all amazing paints for fabrics mostly or to go on to like shoes and dyes this one this one i think is the most exciting for me because i love photography solar fast so it's like cyanotype but any in any of these beautiful colors and you can print with negatives oh fine we can also uh, if you Buy solar pack film. They will, it, it will, there's a website where you can create your own negative. You just pop your photo in on the website, and it'll create a negative for you. Very cool. And then you paint it onto the shirt with a sponge brush. Mm -hmm. Stick it in the sunshine and expose it, and you get this really awesome stuff. It's that is so cool. instantly That's gratifying, really quick. So easy. Yeah, it's just like. Is there a special like only on cotton? Has to be polyester or anything like that, or just um, anything? Cotton. Cotton. Natural fibers Natural work the best. Fibers. Okay. But one of the secrets of Solar Fast that nobody knows 
is it does work on polyester. Oh, okay. You won't get as bright of a color. But, but it, it will work. It will work. Okay. Very cool. And I'm obviously on white will get the most contrast, but you can have fun and play with the colors and really kind of go to right. town on Right. Well, it. like this has been exposed several times. With, with three different, different colors. With different seen. colors. So what about washing it or like once you go out and about in the sunlight there and stuff? There is a solar fast wash. So this, if you just use a little cap full of this, um, rinse it and then you can put a capful in your that's what keeps your white areas white right right once that's done though it's just in this your is normal bulletproof i mean i have shirts that when we released this product in 2014 they're still great they're it's, still doing great it, it's i i always said that the procyon dyes the tie-dye dyes were the most permanent dyes right no, this these one. are actually more permanent <laughs> than those so that's it's cool really cool well, that'd be a fun project and okay for kids to use or yeah. like if you yeah. did them as like yeah. cool that would be a fun little party time. Like to bring all the, the kids best, over. the easiest way for kids to do it is to place solid objects on top. Right. Uh, getting the photo is more like the timing is much more important. Right. So that's a little bit more advanced, which is the only reason we really say eight plus because they, it is a non-toxic dye. The only the only time it would be dangerous is if you were to aerosolize it. Got it. So most people wouldn't do that. Oh, Francis, do you want to show her the what the Dorland's wax is? <gasps> do you want to tell me? So the Dorland's wax medium. Uh, She's got a little squirt gun over here. Right. It will protect your watercolor. So this one, has, this paper has not been treated, and as you can see, the watercolor is worse for right. wear. And then let's see what happens. And it also when you, deforms the paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's you, really when you shoot it. the squirrel, that watercolor just it beads right off. Beads right off. Very cool. Yeah, hey, don't squirt me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right, look at all the cool stuff we're learning. Very fun. Okay, so now we're gonna go check out my time. Here we go. Still doing great on time. Okay, what do we have over here? We have Graham and Company. This is oh, this is SLS Arts. This is a distributor company. So they distribute products for a lot of different. Sorry, we're just I'm walking around. I'm filming YouTube. Okay. Do you want to pitch yourself real fast? But what you guys do? Uh, we are a wholesale distributor uh, located in New Orleans. So. There you go. Yes, there we go. <laughs> I'm on the spot now. Like, oh my God. Well, you can see over here some of their products. And some of these companies have booths here and some don't. So it just depends on the company. So, again, a mom and pop shop, an online shop can come here and they can be like, hey, we've got a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this to put in their store. And that's how you get the products to you guys that are watching. So, that, that sum it up. That's, that's There we go. Oh, great job. Okay. Bam. Like, oh. <laughs> This is why I get paid the big bucks. <laughs> All right, M. Graham and Company. Is it okay to film? Absolutely. Cool. So we have. Don't sorry. Me in there. Oh, okay. Oh, break the camera. Are you talking about what you do? A little bit about the company? I'm just going to talk about one of the products. Great. Yeah. I'll listen in. Okay. Is that cool? Yeah. Okay. yeah. I don't care. Anyway, the gouache, it's, it's actually become really popular right now with a lot of people. And we make what's called an artist quality gouache, it's not a designer's gouache. That, designers used to actually make and what they wanted was an opaque and matte finish because they were going to take a picture of the artwork and they usually used pretty inexpensive quality paints because all they were going to do is take that design work and basically throw it away because they were taking pictures for publications or whatever they were designing. So ours is an artist quality glass. It doesn't have any chalk, no white whiteners or any fillers of any kind. It's just overfilled with pigment. Um, so you can actually wash it down like a watercolor, but still you can get that opacity and the opaque, or the opacity and a matte finish if you want to do it. And that's an example of the gouache painting there. So ours is actually very different. It is not a design designer's gouache. Is that one. what these paints are here? Those are actually oil paints. Oil paints, okay. Yeah. We wanted to put some out just to show it's kind of fun for people to play with a little bit. And, so um, both sets are oil paint? Yeah, that's yes. a, that's a, they're the same colors. That palette there uh -huh. is a mixing palette that Got it. people will use. And then if they want, they can just peel it off and throw it away. Got it. Whereas this one is actually oil painting paper. Um, that you could do the same thing that people actually will do, actually oil painting on the paper. And you need something that won't absorb all the oil, the regular paper. Right. Pull the oil out of it. So we thought we'd leave it out, let people, people play. play a little bit. Well, that's what we like to do with our, right? Play. Absolutely. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Pleasure. Appreciate it. So look at all the beautiful Don't colors. So there's... <laughs> so here we have oil, acrylic, gouache, and watercolor. So very, very cool. All right. Well, I guess we were live on YouTube, but yeah, that's what it is. Hey! All right. Hamtique, okay to film? I'll go by. Huh? I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, sorry. 
I'll, I'll point it to this direction while they're figuring it out. Yeah. yeah? Okay to film? Do you want to tell us a little bit? About, what do you put? You want to tell us what you're doing over here? Oh, I'm just playing around with some little crafting projects for cool. so people can see our our uh, our twenty hemp cord. Um, so which one are you doing? Something too complicated. It's like I'm doing the little rainbow one. Oh, got it. <laughs> I'm the art director. I'm not that crafty, no, but I'm I'm my best. You're here. doing great. So, so, oh, I love these. This so, is such a fun yeah. craft to make. So, I have a little kit if you want to take one. I would love to take a kit. Yeah. Thank you. And, and I'm going to take instructions, too, just yeah. because. That makes more sense. <laughs> yeah, Fabulous. So, so, what is Hemptique all about, for those that don't know? Hemptique is about a natural fiber company that's been in business since 1997. Um, mainly started with hemp products, hemp growth, twine, cords. And we've been expanding into bamboo and cotton, uh, cotton like for baker's twine. Mm -hmm. We have a full line of baker's twine. And then recently our new products are getting into flax linen yarn. Oh, nice. And like, you know, for book binding and historical costuming and the hemp thread and all that stuff. I mean, sorry, flax thread. Right. And more cotton macrame. Macrame is not as popular as it it's, it's still popular, but not as quite, but... A couple years ago, it was like yeah, all the rage, huge, yeah. Huge. But we still have some of the macrame stuff going on there, too. And then we have a new line of leather products and wax cotton cord, mainly for jewelry or for stitching or, leather, you know, leather working. And then we have some of the jute down there, too, like jute ribbons and things like that. We didn't want to get too much in the jute. So that's basically what we're doing right now. And we Introduce some new colors. Oh, and these macrame uh, colors, soft cotton ropes. Very pretty. Awesome. So we're really excited about over there. We need the dispensers, like these little uh, metal dispensers for twine. Oh. But you can put anything in it. You can put right. twine, whatever cotton. Those are really cotton. Like little this. up close. Very cool. And I You could totally do this with your paper crafts though. So even though hemp is not your thing, you could totally do that with paper crafts. So, so many things. Yes, they're so pretty. I love all the colors. I just love how everybody puts their displays together and it's just such this layer of colors. I just get giddy looking at all the cool displays because they're so pretty. <laughs> Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Thank you for the kit, it's awesome. All right, so Pentel Arts, okay to film? Okay to film? Yeah? Yeah? Okay, cool. Is there anything that you guys want to show? Are you demoing anything or showing off a product of some kind? All right, let's go this way. I know, look at all. I just love all the products. All right. <laughs> so here are our new product, the Mahab on the top right. And they're eight color. Full matte black color. Um, give you super vivid contrast. Oh, pretty. here you can see the end result. They are so vibrant and they have a flat, opaque finish. Beautiful. Gel color. Absolutely gorgeous. All right. So here are new markers. Dry erase permanent marker that will never dry out. When you need ink, just activate the mechanism, put the cap in the back, and pump. So we have a brand new pump mechanism that will not have the ink dry out any given time. That is cool. Her brand new product. Like Love it. Don't lose your other pen. It was rolling off the table again. Another one fell down there, by the way. No this is a heads up. We got plenty pens. Don't worry about it. Here are our limited edition pocket brush pen they have six different special design uh, they just come in so handy with the Japanese culture um, design for it. Yes. here are our super popular energy color coming 24 different color the matte finish
coral, super elegant, petite, good for journal use. Come in 24 different color, traditional design. Oh, I love your like Velcro board. I'm sorry, like the stupidest little things make me so excited. Of course. <laughs> That's like the best thing. Are... She's like pulling it off and then sticking it right back there on. It's like magic. <laughs> it's magic, exactly. <laughs> 20 colors, traditional energy oh. RTX, just the purple. We have four different color shades. That's wonderful for coloring, for journaling, anything. Oh. These are our... I'm liking those. Those are awesome. Awesome. Get your sample afterwards. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> These are our brand new Rollo Flow Tune. Give you a cloud night experience. They flow super well. Different from gel ink. They are friction free. Anything you draw is a brand new writing experience. Is there going to be a white one of those? They are not. <gasps> unfortunately, oh. but it's being developed yes. as we speak. We were just having a discussion about wanting to have a really good white pen that doesn't yes. dry out too fast, that goes on beautifully, and we were all having an opinion about what would be the best one and none of us could say that we so. have milky and i'm gonna go there just okay. one bit but then ahead. before that this is the white brush tip oh, nice. that you can have an opaque brush and apply to color like this in a different pastel color also you can blend in with the metallic brush come with a fluorescent uh, metallic effect so they are eight colors individually, OAP certified non-toxic. Here comes more our traditional sign pan. New three six new colors now coming up for 30 colors all for our legendary sign pan um, tip that you can do calligraphy or coloring. New product also with a bold dual tip and finish oh nice 30 color you can do different size of calligraphy very cool awesome so they come in 30 colors you also have 12 color in different tone shade of size so you have the warm color the cold color or the uh, reddish color different set that you can uh, purchase at your special needs coming down Graph gear special set. All these are collector's item in four different sizes. Come with a re replacement erasers and lead for professional use. Now our most traditional item, historical item, pastel, um, coming up with twelve different new colors. That's six fluorescents and six metallic. Nice. Okay. So that's I love all. how this is behind like a closed, like locked case. These are our secret and nobody steals these. Okay, so these are brand new. We're Protect so excited it. for those. Absolutely. Oh, wonderful. Yes. Well, thank you. That was awesome. Is there more? Yeah, there. Oh, there's. Oh, wait, there's more. more. <laughs> all right. So here you are. The so that's for your traditional stationary needs. So coming from the eraser lead all the way to pencil collection from different price set points, collector's item all the way to pens. So if you love pens, here is your playground. This is this is like heaven right here for anybody who's a pen person or a pencil. This is, this is the like pen awesome. I love he's just collecting them on his lanyard. He's just like, yeah, I keep I'm I keep a nerd. <laughs> Oh, right. yeah. so if you have any pen question, come into a pen towel. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That was a great little like speech. We had the whole little thing going on there. First, first time yeah. here. <laughs> and you rocked it. Thank you so much. Rock star right there. Best sales. Woo! Thank Nailed it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. Oh, let's All keep. Right. <laughs> what? You're fine. You talk a lot. Or do you want to talk later? We're live. I'll talk later. <laughs> oh, okay, so we got Royal Lagnickel okay to fill. Oh, they're talking. So, Royal Lagnickel, lots of brush sets, lots of beautiful brush sets. Looks like everybody's kind of doing business stuff right now. Look at these mermaid, oh, look at these mermaid brushes. Those are cool. Love all the cool sets here. Sketching, these are all the color by number things. Beautiful, beautiful things. So, love Royal Nagel, like, Lad Nickel. Okay, want one of everything. I know, right? It's just so awesome. All right, here we got Hero Arts. Getting all set up and ready. So, what are you guys doing over here? We're creating a little mixed media panel. Let me grab my little sample here. 
ink Gorgeous. blending or applying the ink directly to the paper with the reactive inks and then stamping with this awesome mixed textures stamp set for some really great like silhouettes right and then after that we add you can see these ladies here are using the gold hero wax to go add that no, no, dimensional texture and the cool thing with the hero wax maybe when they're done we can show you is if you heat set it it will dry on its own but if you heat set it it'll kind of bubble up and oh, it'll have that. even more texture it looks really cool I love the bubbliness. Everybody's like, oh no, it's bubbling. I'm like, but that's the best that's part. That's the best part. That's exactly. the best part. That's the best thing. So this is the Hero Wax. How many colors? Oh, something just fell off the Five wall. Five colors. Five colors. My favorite actually is the black. Oh, look at I that. I love right there. the black. Let me zoom in right there so we can see. There it is. Very cool. And are those ready, release now, ready They're to go? And now, ready to go. Yeah. Very, very cool. Hero Wax. Anything else new, fun that we want to mention? We have. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Own metallic sprays. I'll actually be demoing with them later today, but they have. Here, let me come around so that way I can get nice and close to that. There we go. Let me try to stand on the other side of the wall. Look how pretty those are. Yep, they have this mica in them, so they have that shimmer, cool. and you're going to get different looks by depending on how far away you spray. They also look really, really cool, which I'll demo later on black watercolor. Oh, so that nice. Shine. What time are you demoing at? At two. Ah, I'm demoing at the same time. Oh. <laughs> Bummer. <laughs> and here's a card that was made with the uh, two-tone metallic spray, this one right here, the fuchsia. Oh, and pretty. she kind of like a reverse stencil, so she used the residual ink on the stencil and popped it's it over great. onto the card base. So very cool. Nice way to use it, kind of get two looks that doing that will it stay there you go at least for now <laughs> <laughs> awesome thank you so much so i mean you guys know hero arts they have lots of amazing products but those are some of their new fun ones that they have there thank you so much i appreciate it thank you all right we got general pencil over here amazing amazing pencils okay to film oh, okay No, they're all okay to fill? No, okay. No, thank no, you. no, that's what I'm asking. Thanks for asking. Yeah, no problem. I mean, they said yes on the thing, but I guess not now. We had Art Sensel, lots of beautiful brushes. Gorgeous, gorgeous brushes. And then over here, what do we got over here? Spellbinders! So this is the new letterpress. I showed you guys a little bit. It went live on my Instagram. I've yet to put it, we're live on YouTube. I showed how to use the letterpress in my very brief reel this morning, but it is so cool. It just got released. I got my kit. There's a video coming on this soon because it's just too much fun. It's called the Better Press. There it is right there. It is so fun. So you get a new template and it's got like the spring hingey things. So that way it presses. So she's about to do it. So we're going to watch. Get in on this because it's too cool. And they have a special ink that they have formulated with Ranger, and the two colors they have so far are, it's like a raspberry color and a black, but there's more colors coming soon. They just, it's all brand new. Like, it's just getting released. I think the release date is June 2nd. You want to get all the details. You're not with them. Oh, you are? Okay. <laughs> I couldn't tell where you were standing here. I thought it was the 6th. Is it 6th? I think I heard 2nd. I don't know. I'm not part of it. I'm just trying to reiterate what I heard when I was in class yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> What's the release date? June second. I actually have a. I've got time. You know, I've had so many dates in my head with all this other stuff now. I'm thinking. I got a. I got a. It's a June sixth or second. Either way, yes. it's close enough. Somewhere like early June. Let's go with that. Don't want to put any pressure June on second. it. June second. June second. Yes, yes I got it right. <laughs> Not that that was a win. Second. Then you can Sell. Sell, sell an order. Or, or somebody could come to your site and purchase them on your site as well. Sorry. Right, right, right. Correct. Okay. People can uh, pre order. There's going to be a pre order window. There's a pre order window. Fabulous. Right. So you can use our. Like Got May it. Six. Right. May 6th. Oh, fabulous. 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 So. Isn't that gorgeous? So, did you guys see how it went through? It like pushed down 
and why letterpress over stamping? Just so inquiring minds want to know. Why made that? So it's got a little bit of an embedded to it. So it's got like an embossed with also the ink. So it just it has this kind of texture to it, almost like if you were going to go get your wedding invitations, how it has a little bit of an embossed with all the ink same thing it is just it's really cool yeah so come and look at the wall and so here's a few of the other ones and obviously there's colors and you can watercolor in it not copic markers not alcohol markers not with these inks but you can watercolor in them and just take a look at those they're just so cool i love them they're so pretty so that's their new release which i think is awesome it is called the better press system and you can pre-order it on international scrapbooking day which is may 6th May 5th, somewhere six, in the 6th, there we go. And then it will ship starting June 2nd. Ta-da! <laughs> Trying to get it all. Oh, and they have buttons. I'm a button girl. Hi. Hello. They have really cute buttons. <laughs> Buy me craft supplies and call me pretty. Um, somebody made a comment about the uh, English lady. That is Julie McGuffey. She and I are, a, she's an amazing, amazing lady. And she's been in the crafting industry for a very long time. So just quickly, here are Spellbinders. So amazing, love all their stuff. So yeah, she is a wonderful, wonderful lady and she's been going to these shows, I wanna say almost 40 years. So, is it okay to film? Okay to film? Yeah. yeah. Is there anything you wanna tell me about your product? We're live on YouTube. Oh. I was like deer in the headlights, oh no. <laughs> no I was live, I don't know about that. <laughs> well, just like your normal pitch. Is there a product that you wanna mention? Well, we're really proud of all of it, obviously. Got it? Yes. Okay. And then we also did just launch a bunch of new of our Smith, all of our Ah. And there's one back, which is on the... Which over here, I'd probably look at the real product yeah. on a piece of paper. It's true. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so where is it? On the other side? Um, okay. On the other side over here. Yeah. Lots of great markers. Very cool. So this is all the new Art Smith that just got released. Yes. And this is Inspiration Direct. Very cool. Fabulous. So there's lots of like, it's not just one thing. You've got pencil sets, you've got markers, you've got brushes, you've got paints, you've got canvases. Am I missing? Yeah. Okay, sketchbooks, all of it. Cool. Well, thank you so much. You're I appreciate welcome. it. Thank you. So that is Cam uh, Inspiration Direct. Lots of really cool little pieces. We've already seen Clover. And then here is the new product showcase. Let's go back over. We got Dixon Ticonderoga. They have lots of little pieces. So Dixon Ticonderoga has Arches, Canson, Dealer Rowley, Das, Lyra, Mamary, Princeton Artbrush, uh, St. Cuthbert's Bill, and Strathmore. So if you love any of these products, we're gonna do just a quick run through about them. So you can see some of their amazing products. So Alton is just over there. We're gonna, we got lots more going. Let's see what we got. I think we've done almost about half of the show. Look at the beautiful things. Sorry, I was just trying to check the time again. And I just want to do a quick thank you everybody for watching. I know there's so many of you watching and I've been trying to see questions and answer them as best as possible. And thank you again. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. We're not done yet today. Um, there's some more video footage coming and we're gonna still walk around. But if you become a member, I have not gone to Alt New yet. No, I've been working from left to right and Alt New is on the right hand side. I'm about halfway through the show right now. Um, maybe a little bit more than half. But if you become a member of the Silver of the Glitter, I get little fun things like buttons and kits and things like that. And some of them I keep and play with, but a lot of it I'm going to be passing on to you YouTube members. So if you would like to have a little goodie shipment sent to you in the mail, I get, I haven't been, I mean, I got a few things as I was just walking around with you, just live with you guys. You saw me pick up a couple pins here and there or a sticker or I got a t-shirt. I'm keeping the t-shirt. <laughs> but um, there's lots of really cool products that I will be happy to pass along. See, there's Julie right there. <laughs> My um, oh, thank you so much. But don't forget to like and subscribe. And then if I am missing a booth, I will be doing another live because I know I have a demo coming up with Crafters Workshop. I will not be able to hit everything because there's just, uh, people are wanting me to come in. I love this. This year, everybody is wanting me to come in. They're talking about their products. They're very welcoming, and I'm spending time in the booth if they are wanting to talk about their products. I am not trying to rush any of this because they are doing a fabulous job, and they're being really nice, and I love that. I mean, because why not? So hopefully you guys love these products, and 
after I get home, I'm going to do my best to go through and link the company's names. So if you are interested in any of them, you can go find their products. I'm going to do my best, but it might take me a little while because there's a lot of companies there. All right, well, let's keep going. All right. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate it. I'm doing my best to watch all your comments. And thank you again for all the amazing thumbs up. And to those that have done like a super thanks and sent money, I love you. Yes, rock stars. All right, here we go. Flipping it around. So again, this is still Dixon Ticonderoga. Look at these beautiful paints here. I'm just such a awesome, I love the paints. I love all the paint. It's just so pretty when you see a wall full of color. It's just so much fun. And I'm also gonna double check to see if I did miss any booths coming through, so hopefully I don't do that. Here we have the color bill. Okay to film? Yep. So what are you guys all about? We manufacture color wheels. Which is the best. If you guys don't have a color wheel handy, you have, oops, sorry, my screen, I just went nuts and I went way up with my camera. If you don't have a color wheel, why would you want to have one? Just for those that are like, I've been thinking about it. Why do I need one? Uh, it teaches you how to mix your colors. This is the general. So you can do, you know, your yellow plus blue equals green. You can learn your complementary and split complementary colors. You got to get one. Grayscale. <laughs> That's so cool. I love it. I mean, it really does help you feel like, oh, what color should I use next? What should I put on that product? You know, what paper should I pull to go with this? What paint should I pull out next? Exactly. Yeah, it yep. really does kind of help self. And there's different sizes. So I'm looking at this. this there's even a kid's one. one. I love the dinosaur. This is for teaching your children how to oh, start. Oh, that's the best. This is every, one of everyone's favorite. Oh, it's cute. Oh, people are asking where can they get ones. These are like home customers. They're wondering where can they purchase one. Hobby Lobby, Michaels. Um, okay. Uh, just your normal average. Amazon? Amazon. Be careful on Amazon. Oh, okay. They have some fake ones that oh, are okay. Ours. So what do we need to look for to make sure we get the real deal? Look for that so color wheel for, company. Yeah, color wheel company. And this one is for, um, our quilters love this. It has more color. Oh, beautiful. And they do more matching than mixing. With right, right, right. So somebody who does more paper crafts because they're matching, that would be a good one for them too, right? Yes. Great. Cool. Like lots of card makers that like watching this. <laughs> but we're always looking for what colors. I mean, color goes across the board, no matter how you're using color. Yeah, tattoo, makeup. Makeup's a big one. Ah. This one's a big makeup one too. Hair dye. Yeah, uh, yeah, see, I, I got the hair dye going. <laughs> yes. If your hair ever turns, you know, red, you're going to have to put a green toner on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, here we have Illumilite. Hello, is it okay to film? You guys want to give me a little spiel about what you're about? Yeah, Illumilite's all about mold making and casting, so, or encoding. So whether you're putting a coating over a surface for, for protective or a high glass surface, uh, you can use epoxy, you can add additives like this to give it certain appearances, um, just depending on what the look that you're going for. Uh, if you walk down the way here, you can see where we've embedded some flowers uh, into some posters or serving trays. So these are uh, real flowers. Uh, so you really can uh, embed anything in epoxy um, to create really cool and different effects. I love this. And these ones are wet, so you just poured these recently? That's correct. We were over in Denver. Oh, did the Mud Puddles guy come over? Uh, I don't know. I oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, just all different types of things that you can you can do with, with epoxy and silicone molds to create uh, different and wild things that are right up your alley. So fun. Oh, I love these ones. Is this one wet too? No, that's not. No, okay. That, good. that one is so cool. Look at that. Very, very cool. Yeah. So if you're into resin, you're into epoxy, you want to kind of light up. Look a little light up. And then you can obviously add the colors to it. That's what this was all about over here yeah, with the little domes. Micas, glitters, dyes, and all then that good stuff. Here's some other things. So it's not just flat surfaces. Yeah, They're putting I'm, it on I'm all different kinds of cool stuff. Uh, somebody said I still have my Illuminite and I haven't used it since oh, I ordered it. Use it. Yes, have right. some fun. Let's Get out. Take it out and play with it. Stuff, so. Very, stuff. very cool. Well, thank you so much. All right, so we're turning it back around. Here we have Holbein. Um, Holbein is lots of amazing paints. Oh, I love this. Apparently, so my roommate, she fell in love with these two art panels right over here. And I think that artist is around here somewhere because he was making some fabulous, fabulous art. Oh, I missed one, Alvin. What is Alvin? Draft magic. What is Alvin all about? Oh, and there's another one around the corner here. I totally missed it, it didn't come around the corner. 
Hi, we're filming. Is it okay to film? Yeah, what are you guys all about? We are Alvin, uh, drawing and drafting equipment. Okay. We've been around since 1950. Very cool. So yes. these are a lot of your products that you have here? Yeah, everything is for helping those who do architecture, engineering, technical drawing, industrial design. Nice. Uh, help them to learn to draw. So a lot of that is math based. Yes. So how do you do the creative part and make a circle and do angles? Uh, so we help you create a straight line, even if you can't draw a straight line. That's me. <laughs> but we got it for you. And a lot of things are appropriated by different makers and people. Everybody from cosplayers who use our cutting mats to people like zoo people who design zoos use our templates. Oh, wow. So it's a really nice cross-section of people who have like, adopted these things right. to be uh, used for what they like to use. Very we cool. like to engage with those folks as well. So awesome. A utilitarian product for artists. There you go. Thank you so much. I appreciate yeah, it. What do you have a blog? Uh, I do lots of YouTube content, uh, short form video content. So I'm just a video content creator for the most part. Right on. Craft yeah. or art? Um, anything, kids crafts, DIY, card making, paper crafts, the whole gambit in there. Anything I can get my hands on and play with. <laughs> um, All the above. Do you take products? I do. Do you have a car? I do. I come prepared. <laughs> there you go. Awesome. Let me my card. Thank you. Um, yeah, we sell really great cutting mats everywhere. From, oh, I love a good cutting mat. Okay, well, hang on. Three inches by five inches, and my large cutting mat is eight feet by four feet. Well, that's a little too big for my desk. But everything in between. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I would love to send you some samples. I would definitely check out your stuff. Yeah, well, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you so much. You. you too. Take care. Bye. See, you never know who you're going to talk to. Yasumoto, we have a beautiful box. This is the one that had the little hanging things last year. Oh, okay, so this is beautiful. I love you, I like coffee stations. Is this part of you or separate? Are you this one or this one? It's part of it, got it. That's your little tea room, I love it. This is okay to buy film, sorry, I didn't mean to. Is there anything you want to show me or tell me about some cool new stuff that you got going on? like arts and crafts, especially we go Western and we have lots of Asian products, Japanese. Yes. So that's kind of our Beautiful. speciality. We have like really nice like sumi sets in which we have, as you can see, like susuri stone, which you can make the ink. Mm, Beautiful. Work on calligraphy or you can do this kind of science. We have like several washi papers, Japanese. Gorgeous. Papers. Yes. We have some food brushes. Those are beautiful. Asian. I love the display here. Yeah, this display so right. It's gorgeous. So you can make this kind of stuff. Yeah. This are fusion, which is more like Western, yeah. Asian look. Performance is really great. We have some Chinese inks that you can see on these papers. Everybody's commenting like they love your watercolor papers. <laughs> You can see, right? This is this, like silver tone. Oh, beautiful. So gorgeous. Didn't you guys have the rooster guy in your booth last year? Was that you? That's yes. Exactly. Yes, yes. I remember yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, he was so sweet. He was doing all his little bit. Yes, yeah. he was fabulous. I love that. This time we have uh, Willa Wonders. Okay. Uh, she does like mixed media. Oh. Right now she's on her break. Yeah. We can't be around be all the time. In a while. Cool. Very, very I don't know cool. if you saw Kili Mayers, the one that she made everything. Oh, here, no, I missed. Demo Alley. No, I haven't gone over to Demo Alley yet. Oh, I'm working my it. way around. I'm working my way around. Yeah, very cool. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. All right. So there is that. We're going to make our way. So here we are. Back in pool buying. Let me just turn the corner. That was the, that's, that's the far corner. So I hit everybody in the front, but I still missed quite a few in the back. Let me check my time now. 12.59. All right. I am going to have to sign off. But you know what? We are going to... No, we're going to finish. We're going to pick back up here. I think that's the easiest way. Did I miss Faber-Castell? Yes, I did hit Faber-Castell, but I feel like I still have about half of the show left to go. I did not get to every single booth, but I have to sign off for right now. I'm so sorry. But I have to get ready for my demo. Let me just check my time again. Yes, it's almost 1 o'clock and I demo at 1.30. And I need to go check in with my company to make sure that I have everything ready for my demoing. And I need to go potty and have a little bit of water and have a snack. Because I've been going strong since we started the show at 10 o'clock this morning. So, more lives to come. This is just the first one for today. Um, I believe this is the only big live I'm going to be doing from today. But some shorter ones are going to be done. 
um, while we are throughout the day. So more to come, more to come. And if you want to see what my full day is like, uh, definitely go check out my reel of the day. I just posted it on Instagram. I need to go and post it on Facebook and YouTube. I didn't get a chance to before the show started. I slept in a tiny bit. And mommy, like, I thought you were supposed to be here today. But yes, I did go by Faber Castell. They were earlier in the video. So make sure you go back and watch the replay. I have covered at least 50 to 60 booths so far. At least. There is way more to come. So make sure that you go back and watch that replay. And more videos come. I know I said I said full booth tour, but I just ran out of time. So more to come, more to come. And please don't, well, be able to see video of you doing demo. I brought my camcorder, so possibly, or I brought my, my stand. So very possibly I'll be demoing or I'll do a little, uh, maybe just a tiny little something. So, so we'll, we'll see. I got to see what I'm able to do because I'm not in, I'm in the Notions booth. So I'm not in my, I'm not in the Crafters Workshop. I'm in Notions and I'm not sure what they're allowing for me to set up and do things. So we'll have to see. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Share the video of anybody who's may have missed it. And uh, don't forget to become a glitter or a silver member are to my top two tiers for membership to get swag from the show and I will be back later. Don't worry. I will absolutely be back later. This is not the final video. This is just one of many. So hugs to you all and I will see you later. Bye everybody.